Welcome to today's live show. We got something important here. What's going on? A Lamborghini key. Now, we're not really gonna talk about Lamborghinis, but I thought this was cool, because how old are you, Jalen? 21. 21. He's been buying and selling real estate properties, and he's gonna explain his formula. Money's not everything, but when I was 21, if I could have had a Lamborghini, it would have been cool, but it took me a little longer. I didn't have all the, you're lucky. Modern world got more tools. Very so he's, he's gonna lay out his formula, how he is buying real estate, no money down. If you notice, I have no shoes on. Somebody noticed <laughs> from my video team, but they're like, it's your house, so um, you don't have to wear shoes. I'm actually not gonna stay the whole time because he's got a whole presentation he's got for you. He's gonna whiteboard this out. We talk about, and literally you can take this information and um, run with it for free. I met you, what, two years ago? It was probably like two and a half. I, yeah. I remember I hit you up after I closed my first deal and I was like, hey, Ty, you know? You were what, 19, right? I was 18. 18. Yeah, 18. And I met, he's married. You got married at what, 19? Yeah. 19, and his wife is a big YouTube blogger. She's, at, she's doing a deal at Disneyland today. That's yeah. why she didn't come. Yeah. So he's been doing, what have you been doing a lot? You showed me a check you made 100, 5,000 yeah. last month? We did, we did about 130, and after like expenses, about 105. Yeah. So you netted $105,000 last month. Now, just to be clear, this isn't a get-rich-quick scheme. Obviously, Jalen is better than most people. I'm not promising you that if you take his formula, um, you're gonna go out and make $100,000 a month. I just wanna get that out of the way, because sometimes people are like. But I wanna also say the flip side. Um, I'm more and more people are doing deals like this and are learning real estate. This is you're I not saw the that only kid. person. You see that Some guy? kid sent you a message. A guy sent, so I get all these <laughs> testimonials. I'll show you one. This is a guy who sent me his check. Here's an actual check. You can contact him on Instagram if you want. Where should I hold it up, right there? Hayden.ludlow on Instagram. This is, I did not pay him or anything to make up this testimonial. You can talk to him directly. He's, oh, you got it? Okay. There he's holding his check for $33,000. This is what he just wrote me. I get people, fall, uh, yesterday I spoke at a big crypto event and pe a kid came up to me and he's like, actually two people, it's on my Snapchat right now. One of them is doing e-commerce making 60 or $80,000 a month. Gross, probably netting, usually 20% of that. So 20 grand, actually I think a lot of these guys do about 30%. So 15, 20 grand. So here's a guy who goes, what's up, Ty? I took your real estate course a while back, did a testimony when I closed my $33,000 wholesale deal. Oh, we're resetting Twitter. Okay. Here, you hold that. Yep. We gotta reset this for Twitter. Um, I don't know if I'll say the whole thing over again. Some of you missed it. Some, am I going to get those? Or? Yeah. Right. Okay. What's up, Twitter? Talk, we got Jalen here talking about how that's his, that's Gallardo. He's got a Lamborghini, his first Lamborghini at 21 from real estate. So before I was talking about his story, you guys came in late because Twitter Live has a lot of glitches. Um, I was showing you this story of this Ludlow guy, and I posted Hayden Ludlow on Instagram and it's $33,000 check. And he just wanted to say, Ty, uh, Ty, I want to let you know, I just closed a $50,000 wholesale deal, 40,000 and a 25,000 wholesale deal. So he made six figures. So Jalen is going to map it out. He's got a whiteboard. I'm going to go off here so that he's not interrupted and he can just talk. And like I said, background is we met when you were 18 or 19 yep. and you were, how much were you making back then? I was, my first year I pulled in probably about a hundred, so like eight grand. grand a month, like yeah. one deal every month or month okay. and a half. And then the next year? I pulled it up to 200. Okay. And then this year I think we did about just ab above 300. Yeah. And now we're scaling, so, yeah. you know, just had my first six figure month, so, you know, I had to now figure out six figures things. of profit. Yeah, yeah. It's easy, like, I know, I, I seen your lives and you were talking about some kids who talk about gross. And yeah. obviously doing a lot of gross is great too. Yeah, for sure. But the cool thing about wholesaling is I keep 80 cents of every dollar that comes into the business. Yeah. Because marketing expense and some employee expense. Yeah. It's not like there's no product that I'm dealing with, you know. So we're gonna, he's gonna lay out this formula. Those of you who don't know, 
there's, he's doing this with no money down. So if you don't have a ton of money, if you're like me, you didn't grow up with rich parents that can help you out, he's got an actual formula and you're not the first. It's actually, it's called wholesaling. It's not new, by the way, but there's simpler ways to do it. People overcomplicate this thing and he's going to lay it out for you. So I'll give a little preface. What wholesaling is basically is there's a home on your street or in your neighborhood and you see the for sale sign and you walk up to them and you say, I'll buy it from you, but you don't have a lot of money. So you put it under contract using certain kind of contract and you just put a little money down sometimes as little as 500 ten, bucks. 10 bucks. You've done 10 my bucks? My first few deals, like for my <laughs> first six months, I was doing a $10 earnest money. And that's like, we'll so talk about what that means. But we shouldn't have said no money down. Yeah. $10 down. You need down. Ten, you I need borrowed ten, it from my, at the time, girlfriend's dad. So $10. If you don't have $10, bro, you If you don't have $10, wrong. you can't borrow $10, then go get a job, minimum wage, save one or two hours work, and you got 10 bucks. So you put the house under contract, and then you put a clause that you can get out of it if yes. you can't resell it. And so you basically try to resell it. Yes to somebody else yes. who might want it. You're like selling the contract. So yeah. it's not like you're not an agent, nope. you're not a broker. You're getting a piece of real estate at a certain price under contract. Then you're selling the rights to that contract. So I'm over here, you know, and you got a property under contract and I'm a flipper, I've got money. I've got hundreds of thousands of dollars in the bank. I'm like, hey, you know, and you bring the property to me. I'm like, hey, I'll close on that in seven days, pay you 10 grand for the contract. Boom. Yeah, now somebody said, it's simple but not easy it requires work yes you will have to do some work if this is not a program where you listen to what jalen says you go lock yourself in a room lay in bed watch netflix 24 7 send one email and boom you make 100 grand in a month that it i hope it's a sad world that we actually have to give that disclaimer because there's probably someone stupid Dude. enough to think that if you are that dumb then do not watch this. Immediately turn this live stream off. Um, so I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna jet out and I'm ready he's to go. gonna talk. Now, I'm gonna tell you this. He came all the way out here because he was living both in Arizona and you got a place in Hollywood and yeah. now you're back in Arizona. And um, he came all the way out here to give this presentation. So this is a time sensitive one that you watch it. For those of you into crypto, I see somebody asking about Tron and investment. A great thing that you can do, and a lot of people in crypto and investments in general, there you build a business that creates cash flow, and then you can take some of the profits and invest it into crypto or invest it into social media or whatever it is you're trying to do. Uh-oh, your wife might be mad. Some girl said, Jalen's so cute. <laughs> don't show her the don't live stream. Don't we'll show be the live Yeah. So I want you to pay attention, take notes. He's gonna you gonna map some out? Can I'm you map, map some, some out? Stuff Just out? draw Absolutely. it all out We're for gonna, people. Look, he, he's right. I drove all the way out here from Arizona. My wife's at Disneyland right now. I could be in Disneyland with my wife right now, but I'm here to teach you guys, so I'm not gonna be wasting time. I'm gonna talk about deals, actual deals that we've done in the past month. I'll go over my first deal. I'll go over some of my bigger deals. Yeah, let's pull, why don't you go ahead and start and on the whiteboard. Yes. One yes. thing that I'll show you is just good, just like write out anything you're saying, little maps, yep. little diagrams, and stuff like that. I just like wanna that. make sure I've got it. Is this in the frame? Is he enough? good? Yeah, you can pull it over just like pull it another. You can cover up there. Cool. Real, yeah. real quick, in case you're curious, you probably wanna see a picture of the Lambo just before we yeah, get this is his Lambo. into business. <clears throat> I just bought it. Some dude, I was at a convention and some dude, you know, came outside. He's like, take me for a ride. And I'm like, all right, bro. <laughs> Haters will say you paid him $20 to sit in the driver's yeah. seat. Yeah. Haters will say you rented it, but I mean, you can't fake a Lamborghini on Instagram. So, <laughs> you know. <laughs> and even, hey, for all the people that say people fake stuff, what I've learned is almost always most insecure people type the most negative stuff. It is just reflection yeah. on, you know, and I have to say, probably there was a point in my life growing up, if I would have seen stuff like this, I would have been a hater because yeah. I was insecure about finances because nobody ever showed it to me. If you're super insecure, I don't know, go do something else. Go watch Netflix <laughs> for 12 bucks. Yeah. We don't bucks need you. We're gonna talk for to the For those of you who wanna people. learn real stuff, watch this, take notes, and, um, I might pop back in. I'm just gonna be 
over in a different part of the house. He's going to be meditating with no shoes on right now. Yeah, I got no <laughs> shoes on. He's got <laughs> the Yeezys. I'm, I'm shoeless. All right. There you go. Cool, Please cool. All right. So first thing I want to say, guys, is seriously, thank you for being here with me. I'm going to take the Lambo down because... I'm just gonna look like a cocky mofo up here, <laughs> having that up. But uh, first thing I wanna explain is really just reiterate what exactly wholesaling is. Um, I seen, love you too, D uh, Dylan. Love you too, bro. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna go over real quick one more time just what exactly is wholesaling so that you can actually see it you know, visually. So it makes sense to you, because believe me, when I first heard about the fact that you can Go find a property, get a good deal, and make like 10, 20 grand. I was like, what the heck? And I was actually sitting in a free seminar, probably a lot like this live call that you're watching right now, and you know, they showed me how to do it. So let's say we got a property right here. I suck at drawing, so excuse it. But that property's got a bunch of cracks, you know, the roof's kind of falling off, whatever. I don't really know what that's supposed to look like. But that property is distress, okay? And let's say Jim over here. Jim owns that property. He knows it's distressed, but Jim doesn't really care about that property. In fact, maybe let's say Jim lives in another state and Jim happens to get one of your marketing pieces that, you know, I show you guys how to do. And he calls you and says, hey, you know, I'm interested in selling my property. I got your letter or got whatever sort of site, your website, whatever, you know, marketing channel you were using. He says, I want to sell this property. And let's say, you know, for our sake, Let's say this property, when it's all fixed up, is worth 100 grand, all right? So it's worth $100,000. And obviously, we can't get those up in LA. I just did a deal. We bought it for 600. So you can't really do 100K deals, but it works just as well on million dollar properties as it does on 100K properties. And I'll talk more about like other deals in a second. But let's say this property that Jim owns is $100,000. And, um, and he calls us and he says, hey, look, you know, the property needs a lot of work. I don't really know anything about the property. I live in another state. If you could give me $50,000, I would sell it to you. And we say, okay, we do our research. I show you how to do everything. We look at the comps, figure out it's worth 100. We look at the property, figure out it probably needs, and I, there's easy ways to do repair, repair estimates. I'm not a contractor. I'm not some super genius in any of these things. And let's say it needs 10 grand in work. So 10K in repairs. And we say, okay, Jim, let me sign a contract with you. We'll buy it for $50,000. Now we put specific things in the contract that are very, very important. Basically, that's, it, it's assignable. We can get out of the contract, you know, low amount of earnest money deposit, stuff like that. So we sign that contract with Jim, okay? Now, we're in the middle, so we have that contract signed. Now let's say we've got Brian over here. And Brian's a fix and flipper, so he wants to go into that property, he wants to do the work, he wants to deal with the squatters or whatever's there, deal with the situation, and he wants to flip that property. Now we don't have any money, you know, obviously we have that contract, and you know, in the contract it says specific things, subject to partner's approval, stuff like that. Um, but we hit up Brian, we say, hey, Brian, we've got this contract on this property. We think it's worth about 100,000 after it's fixed up. You know, here's some pictures. What do you think about it? And obviously there's more to the process, but I'm just breaking it down real simple for you guys. Um, so Brian says, you know what? I'll take it for 60K. You know, I'll pay you a $10,000 assignment fee for that contract. So Brian is at $60,000 and all this is done through a t what's called a title company. I don't know how many of you guys have bought and sold houses. I'll look at, you know, in the comments in just a second. But you go through a title company or, or an escrow company, a closing attorney, depends on what state you're in. For me in Arizona, we do uh, title companies. So you give that contract with Jim to the title company, do what's called open escrow. You put in your earnest money deposit. And it sounds a lot more complicated than it is. It's actually very simple. Um, and then Brian signs an assignment agreement with you where he's going to pay you $10,000 to take over that contract with Jim. And then Brian is going to wire in that 60 k of which $50,000 is going to go to Jim and 10 k is going to go to you. Again, it's through a title company. A lot of you guys might be thinking right now, not a lot of you guys, but some of you guys who don't understand 
real estate, contract law, stuff like that are like, oh, that's impossible. You can't do that. Well, guess what? Banks who you know, do mortgages, banks who give you car loans, they assign stuff all the time. In fact, if you go back on anybody you know in their property, you look in their uh, deed history, um, their mortgage had probably been assigned multiple times. Assignments happen all the time. Assignments are quick and easy ways to make money. And now I give you a hundred thousand dollar, you know, uh, example. Now let's imagine if it was a million dollars. This is where you can start making a hundred grand assignment fees, stuff like that. But some of you guys are small minded and can't imagine making a hundred K in a week. Um, so I'm not really going to push that too hard. Let's start with easier numbers. And you can do this in no matter what state you're in. I'll go through some deals in just a few minutes on deals I did in Indianapolis, deals I did in Memphis. I do deals in Phoenix. I've done a couple deals in California. So, you know, um, really whatever price point you want to be at, you can go over there and get. But this is the rough outline of, you know, wholesaling real estate. So, you know, pretty beautiful little business model. Here, let me rip this off. I'm gonna look at the comments, see what everybody's saying. How many people are real? No, MM, this is actually live. <laughs> um, best way to generate leads, I'll talk about that. Everyone's going, it's real, it's real. Yeah, this is real. Um, I'd love to make that in a week. It's possible, man. Like, I'm not up here trying to like make things up. I mean, if you follow me on Instagram, you'll see like, oh, shit. Um, you'll see me post checks and stuff like that. Um, this stuff's actually happening. <laughs> it's no joke. Um, LOL, love you. Can I be a banker and do this? Doesn't really matter. If it's under contract with a realtor, we don't really use realtors. Sorry, let me keep going. So, oh, Insta. Okay, yeah. So, all right. So all of my socials are the same. It's just at Jalen White, J-A-E-L-I-N White. My wife's name is Brianna White. She's on YouTube as well. So yeah, if you're curious to find me, that's where it's at. You get Lambo stuff, all that. Um, so first thing I want to talk about is a couple of deal examples. And uh, I want to tell you a quick little story. So when I was 18, and I'll actually write down the address so that you can look it up, 506 East Randy Street. Oh my gosh, he's actually showing us a real deal. What? So this was my first deal, and I'll show you guys more recent deals, but this is my first deal. 506 East Randy Street. In fact, the buyer actually just sold it two years, or three years later almost, like a few months ago. So 506 East Randy Street was my first property that I ever flipped. Go look it up on Google Maps. Uh, maybe not right now if you're on your phone or whatever, but you know, take a note of it, screenshot it later. But that thing was a dump. Okay, and I was in high school. I had switched to like online high school. I'd done, you know, done the, the normal high school thing. Halfway through, you know, my senior year, I was like, dude, my parents live in another state. I'm sleeping on my grandparents' couch. Um, you know, my family didn't have a ton of money. I wasn't like going out to eat every day and stuff, you know. I didn't, I, in fact, I was actually negative in my bank account whenever I closed this deal. So I did the research. I got the contract, blah, 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 blah. You can go look it up. And I bought the property for, excuse me, I put the property under contract for 15 grand. So I've got the property under contract for 15K. And here's the purpose of this, is two friends who went to high school with me heard that I was doing this real estate stuff. Now obviously you want it, I was a kid not making money yet, so you think the worst. You're a skeptic, you know, most people think like that. You know, this isn't gonna happen, no way you'll make money on that property. But I take two of my buddies out to this property, 506 East Randy Street. We rolled down in my girlfriend's mom's HHR. It was like, I don't even know what year it was. We just, I borrowed the HHR because I didn't have a car to get to the property. So I locked it up over the phone. They literally scanned me back the contract. And uh, yeah, but anyways, I roll up with these two buddies and I show them through the property. I show them how I got the deal, which it was through bandit signs and you'll learn what that is later. Um, and I talk about the process with them. And one of them, my good buddy, Alex, which I'm not sure if he's on this right now, um, he was like, dude, I need to figure out how to do this. And then the other dude, I won't mention his name, but he was like, this is awesome. But one of them, which is Alex, went out and actually like learned how to do it. And this year, Alex, no joke, I think he hit 700 grand this year. So he made more money than me this year. He's got an office, he kind of 
you know, I try to stay virtual, virtual office. I don't want to have a physical office. So he makes more money than me at this point. All because he learned the freaking strategy I used and actually went out and learned how to do it and followed it. And me and him actually did some deals together in the beginning. And uh, now he's doing, making more money than me. So it just goes to show, like, if there are any of you skeptics on here, which I know there is because there's so many, it's hard to deal with them. Um, pay attention, man, because you never know. Like, one kid's now in college, still broke. The other kid is making 700 grand a year. So who do you want to be? You want to be this kid, you know, probably living a great life, partying and stuff, but that's not really the life I wanted for myself. I wanted a, uh, a Lamborghini, <laughs> which obviously, you know, again, money's not everything. I don't want to, like, iterate that or make you feel that way. I put a big amount of attention into my relationship, into my family, into, you know, church and stuff like that. And all of that would not be possible if it weren't for the strategy and really this first deal that kicked me off and really validated this strategy for what I did. So I ended up selling this deal for 30K and I used a strategy called double closing, which it's very simple. It's just a different way of assigning. Um, and I made 12 grand after closing costs. So I got that check two days before graduation and there's a ton of podcasts I've done talking about it and stuff like that. That was like my hallmark deal. And then I, you know, spun it into multiple other deals and stuff like that. But I got into this business for time freedom, and uh, that's why I love it. So I'm going to look at the comments one more time. Virtual so cops can't find you. <laughs> nah, luckily, I mean, luckily it's not, you know, you're not dealing with drugs or something like that. <laughs> Flipping properties. Double close is big bucks. Yeah, for sure. Start early is the key to success. I agree to that, but I feel like you need to start today because, yeah, I'm now 21. I was 18. But I could have done this at 50. And I actually have friends, like I'm in masterminds with other people who are, you know, 50 years old making millions of dollars and are like, dude, I wish I would have done this at 21, but I'm glad I started at, you know, 48 or whatever. So I got my other buddy, uh, Brandon Simmons, no deep pockets, no credit required. Yeah, literally, uh, that's the beautiful thing about wholesaling. And before I move on, I just wanted to talk real quick because you got to understand you're not going to make money without bringing value. So some of you guys might be thinking right now, well, why in the heck would this seller be willing to sell me a property worth five or 100K for 50, you know, to where I can make 10 grand on the property? Well, why in the world would you trade in a car to a dealership? I just uh, bought not the not only Lamborghini, but I also bought a Ford Flex, like a family car, and uh, I traded in our BMW, and I actually had a $2,000 more offer at one of the other dealerships down the street, but for convenience. I took their offer and it was, or the, the other dealership I was buying the other car from, I took that offer for convenience, even though I did another, another $2,000 higher offer over here. I did it for convenience because I didn't want to have to go sell that car first, get the payoff or whatever we needed to do and deal with that. So why would, I ripped the page, but why would somebody sell a, you know, 100K property for 50K? Number one, they probably don't have the money to re make repairs. And they probably don't have the time to go show it to a bunch of different people. So no time. They Maybe they're dealing with squatters who they just don't want to deal with. So squatters, if you don't know what a squatter is, is basically, basically someone who's living in the property without paying you rent. And yes, I bought plenty of properties that had squatters in there and sellers literally at closing will kiss your neck for freaking getting the deal done because the average person who's not extremely knowledgeable in real estate and just inherited this property or, you know, got the property in some which way where they don't care about it, they live in another state or whatever it is, they don't realize that, you know, there still is some value that they still can sell that property. So they get your marketing they're like oh my gosh i didn't even realize i could sell it what a blessing you know because maybe they're hurting for money i bought properties where sellers will have this property that would be worth 100k fixed up but they owe twenty thousand dollars in back taxes on that thing they're getting literally letters where they'll lose it to the to the freaking uh, city and state if they don't sell it so you gotta understand we're bringing value here by helping a seller out of an issue. Maybe they don't have the money for the repairs. Maybe they don't have the time. Maybe they don't have, or maybe they have a squatter that they can't deal with. Whatever it is that would create that motivation to sell, 
Just like for me, it's just convenience. I wanted to sell that car to a dealership for a little bit cheaper than the other dealership would have offered me. Well, a lot, a lot cheaper, you know, when you compare like percentages, because two grand is a lot more on a $20,000 purchase than, you know, 10 grand would be on a uh, 100 grand purchase, or it'd be about the same. So anyways, so that's exactly why I went through them. Convenience, and you gotta understand, the sellers are searching for a solution through us. So that is my business model, is, is to literally bring solutions to home sellers who have troublesome properties, and they're okay with trading some of that equity in the property for the convenience of not having to deal with it. So yeah, I just wanna make sure you understood that because don't get, come into this call thinking like, oh, you can just, randomly start generating money like you need to bring some value to the transaction and that's exactly how we bring value so i thought that was pretty important to understand the next thing you have to understand is this thing is very step by step this process of wholesaling so my main deal whenever whenever i was excuse me my main deal whenever I was getting started in a business, I was 17, I knew that you know my dad's a truck driver, my mom's a nurse, I knew they lived in another state, and I knew I wanted to create a better life for my family and for who my, my now wife, but my girlfriend then, and I knew I wanted to get into business. So I wanted to find something that was really step by step by step, and I started in network marketing, it didn't really work well. Um, I think I made a whole like 50 bucks off of like a couple of my friends signing up or something like that out of pity. Um, so then I stumbled upon this, which is very cut and dry. You know, you do your marketing. It's a real business model. A lot of you guys are looking at these Ponzi schemes and all this other kind of stuff. You gotta find a real business model that involves something that's long lasting, real estate. So we do our marketing, we get leads, okay? what are called leads. So people who have properties that they wanna sell, okay? From those leads, we're gonna have, you know, appointments. You, they can either be over the phone or they can be in person. From those appointments, we're gonna have contracts. And from those contracts, we're gonna have an assignment which is, you know, I talked about what an assignment is. So where the buyer takes over that contract with the seller and uh, pays you a fee, and then you're gonna have a closing. And then, guess what? You just mapped out uh, 100K a year or month or whatever you wanna scale to, biz model, business model. And it's so sad how a lot of people who I tell what I do to don't understand the simple fact that is literally so step by step. You send the mail, you, you know, do the door knocking, you put up the signs, you do the, send the postcards, whatever you're gonna do for your marketing stream, do the online marketing. And a lot of the marketing is free. I didn't spend anything to find that first deal. You don't need to go out and spend thousands of dollars a month in marketing. Obviously, if you wanna scale to 100 grand a month, you have to be sending a proportionate amount of marketing out. Like you can't expect to make 100K a month off $100 in marketing spend. That's unreasonable. But can you expect to get your first deal off $50 in marketing, $100 in marketing? Absolutely you can. And that's the beautiful thing about wholesaling. You know, you don't need to go out there and buy a bunch of inventory and drop shipping. You don't need a bunch of inventory, but then guess what? You need to figure out what works because you only make a small amount per sale. So it's hard to stack cash here. We do that marketing, we talk to the leads, people who wanna sell their property, we, t we have an appointment over the phone or at their property you know, to figure out what they want for the property to get all the details. Then we sign a contract with them at a given price. Then we assign that contract. Again, we're not really selling the house to the buyer. We are assigning the contract. We're selling the contract. And that's the biggest thing you need to focus on. We do not, you know, put properties on a contract and then sell that property, we sell that contract on that property. And then the buyer brings in his money, closes, and you get you know, your profit margin. And don't think that just because I mentioned 10 grand, I'm spitting all over the place, <laughs> but just because I spent, uh, mentioned 10 grand, don't think that that's the cap to what you need to make. I've made 100K on an assignment, I made 35K, I made three, three grand. You make whatever the deal you know, permits in that situation. So, you know, we did this real estate thing. Really, my goal is to help you guys 
go out there and get your first deal in 45 days or less. And you're probably wondering, like, why would he come on and help and stuff? Well, Ty promised me that I'll have the opportunity to joint venture with some of the students on deals. And for me, my biggest goal is to do more deals across the country. I told you guys earlier, I'm in, uh, here, I'll, uh, oh, just, oh, well. <laughs> um, I told you guys earlier, I've done deals in Memphis. And we'll go through a couple of these deals in, uh, in a few minutes. But Indy, Indianapolis, California, parts of California. Phoenix, I've literally been all around. <laughs> um, and then I, you know, I don't remember every single deal. We do a good amount of deals, and I forget individual deals, so that's why I literally am going to have to pull up my phone when I give you guys addresses. Um, but I'm all over the place, and I can do deals anywhere in the country. You know, I don't care where you live. You can always do things virtually, but if you live somewhere and you're like, okay, yeah, I want to be able to see these properties I'm wholesaling, I can joint venture with you guys on deals. So get that out of your head if you're wondering, oh, he's just coming to spew BS at us. He doesn't actually do this. Well, I'm sharing this with you guys so that we can joint venture on deals. In fact, I actually just joint venture with another dude um, in one of my markets because that's, that's one of my main business models is partnering with other people. I do the marketing. I, I should have just freaking flipped it over, but I had the process. I do the marketing. I get the leads, and then he sells, them to, sells the contract to his buyers. So that's what I want to do with you guys. I want to bring buyers in. I want to help you out with that situation. So that's why I'm here sharing this information. So um, I'm sure you're probably wondering, what are these deals that, you, that I can share with you so you can see real numbers on how I do this? Let me look at the uh, Frederico. He sold one at 506 East Randy Street. Yeah, that was my first deal, man. I don't remember who bought it from me, but uh, Vu, uh, thank you, man. Very nice to meet you. Vu said, uh, good meeting you and your white Gallardo at the Find and Flip Summit. I need to give my Gallardo a name now. Everyone's excited to meet that more than meeting me. Um, simple indeed. Yes, it's very simple. Obviously, I'm sharing just the basic breakdown. There's a lot more to it, like how to negotiate, how to figure out what a property is worth. Um, but for time's sake, I'm trying to make sure you guys understand the big picture and stuff like that. Um, how do you write the contracts? Uh, we'll talk about that. Have you done any deals in New York City? No, but I really, really want to do some New York City stuff because I already showed you guys the, pro the profits in, of average profit of flipping a 100K house. If you wholesaled a million dollar property, a $10 million property, I mean, like, I was reading an article on this one guy. It's a company. I don't know if it was a single dude, but in New York City, it was a big building, like a Donald Trump type building. Uh, maybe, I can't remember the purchase price was like 10 million or something like that. But they got it under contract. And on those big buildings, you have longer contract periods. So, you know, let's say in wholesaling, we sign that contract with the seller to close in 30 days. On a big building, you might close in six months. And so one company put this building in New York City under, under contract, it's just wholesaling on a bigger level. And they wholesaled that property for a $7 million assignment fee. I'm not joking. You can go look it up on Google and type in like New York City $7 million assignment fee. And I'm sure you'll be able to find that, um, find that thing. Real estate license, uh, Pranesh says. No, you don't, I don't have a real estate license. You don't need one. Again, we're not brokering deals. We're getting a contract on a property. And if you want to flip a property, there are so many ways to still actually flip it with no money down. Hit me up. I'll freaking look at your deal and think about JVing you. But as far as wholesaling goes, all you're doing is getting a contract to purchase a property at a given price, and you're selling that contract. You don't need to be a realtor. There's no brokerage or anything like that. As long as you do it right. Don't go out there trying to write contracts on random houses and trying to sell properties you don't have, you know, that you do want to have under contract. You're selling the property and not the contract. Don't go doing all that stuff. Do what I'm talking to you about right now. You get a property under contract and you sell that contract to the buyer for an assignment fee. Um, so, yeah, can a 16 year old do it if your parents sign the paperwork? Or the paperwork, excuse me. Um, uh, just buy some Ripple coin and hold till June. Yeah, I mean, that's the beautiful thing about wholesaling is it's easy to stack cash quick. I mean, imagine if. You know, being an 18-year-old, if I had just stacked, you know, I, I like e-commerce, but you got to go and make $10, $20 a sale. I like to make 
10 grand a sale, and then you can go invest some in marketing, you can go invest some in crypto or whatever you wanna um, invest in. So, okay, so can Canadians do this? I do wanna talk about this real quick. I see Walter Serlano asked. Um, yes, I have friends who flip from Canada. Um, it's even easier to do when you're just assigning a contract because there's a lot of the paperwork that, that you would normally need to fill out if you were actually buying the property you don't need to fill out as an assignment. You're literally just doing property assignments. Um, and so, yeah, you're, you've got, obviously you've got to talk to your title company and your state, and I talk about how to find title companies and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, you can definitely um, do that from other countries. So, and I know, I actually know one guy who lived in, uh, Kimble can't remember if it was like Lebanon or something like that. And uh, he actually started wholesaling in America and I think he made like a couple hundred grand his first year and then he moved to America and now he's like taking over his local market. So it's pretty crazy. Um, so yeah. And by the way, one more time, if you guys didn't uh, see my Instagram in the beginning, it's at Jalen, J-A-E-L-I-N, white. I see a bunch of people like, what's your Instagram? What's your Instagram? Um, so yeah. Uh, as far as properties, so you probably want to see actual examples. Um, it wasn't about Nick. Um, but, so yeah. Uh, okay, 622 North Oxford Street. I'll pull it up on Zillow right now on the screen. So this property is in Indianapolis. Indiana. All right, let me pull up the screen for you guys so you can actually see what I'm looking at. It's markers falling apart. Um, okay, so let me try to get out of the way. Oh, didn't pull it out. All right, Zillow, here we go. Okay, so 622 North Oxford Street. So this particular property in Indiana, um, we got the lead, the guy right off the bat, um, the seller, he was a police officer and he had a couple of other rentals in the area. This is not one of the best areas of the city. Um, hence, you know, that's where you find some more distressed properties. I don't stray away right from the rough areas when wholesaling. Obviously you wanna be safe when you go to look at them. But uh, this property, he, uh, it was vacant, needed some work. One of the, uh, the staircase you could see like right up here, I forget, I'm like looking on the camera and not screen sharing, but these, the staircases right here were kind of separating from the house. So there was a little bit of foundation damage. And I didn't go look at the property. I have a partner on the ground in Indianapolis who um, I have go take a look at the properties and stuff like that so I can do it virtually. And uh, the seller right off the bat was asking $8,000 for the property. Now, right off the bat, you can see the Zestimate. And by the way, if you guys don't know, this is Zillow.com. It's just, you know, you can go and look, at, look up the property address and stuff like that. You can see properties that are listed for sale in the area, if you can see that. Um, like I'll click out of this real quick so you can see. It shows up like a map and stuff like that. But for this particular property, uh, the seller lead came in and... What's up? Oh, perfect. Here, yeah, I should probably make this full screen too. Ugh, live stream newbie. Um, but yeah, so the seller just wanted to get rid of it. It was vacant, wasn't making him any money. It was costing him money in city taxes. So he said, yeah, I wanna buy it or I wanna sell it for $8,000. And we said, okay, let's do $8,000. So we signed a contract with him and uh, we actually sold this one, uh, I think for 13,000. So again, we do, I'm gonna show you guys multiple other deals. It's, they kind of all blend together at this point, but this was one deal. This was actually just like a month ago, not even a month ago. So I'll show you in some of the other like past, past deals, like six months or, or a year, you know, in the past, it'll say, it'll say sold for the price that you had the contract for. Obviously when you assign it's money to you. So when the property sells, it sold for technically 8,000, but we got an assignment fee uh, the buyer paid 13K. So, um, yeah, on that property, that'd be 5K. 
that was quick 5K. I don't know how many of you guys would like to make five grand just flipping a dump. The buyer, um, I actually was friends with the buyer. I knew the buyer. He was going to come in and rent out both sides and maybe sell it turnkey. So that's another business model in real estate where you, you, know, you buy property, wholesaler sells you property or whatever you're doing, and you fix up the property and you put tenants in it and then you sell. Obviously, it takes money. We're not talking about that today. But that's what my end buyer strategy was. So he bought it. Now he's fixing it up or whatever he's doing. So I don't know, man. Is this, uh, is this good for you guys? Uh, I'm not 5'4", by the way. I'm actually like 6 foot, but maybe it looks like it. Hmm. All right. Right off the bat. Zoom, zoom in, please. Yeah, sorry about that. How do you sell the interest in the contract? Okay, so I mentioned that we signed that purchase agreement. It's called a purchase agreement. Now, you don't want to just go randomly find an agreement to buy real estate. It needs to have specific things, and I'll, be ta I'll talk more about that in a little bit. But um, basically, in your purchase agreement, it says Jalen White, or you know my LLC name. I don't actually put my name on the contracts. Um, I have an LLC. I did not have an LLC for my first year in the business, so it's not like you need one. Um, LLC is just a business entity, if you don't know. Um, but let's say Jalen White and or Signs is buying the property at 62 Oxford from seller's name, blah, blah, blah. And because I said and or assigned, and or signs, I can assign it to somebody and they can take over my uh, position in that contract. And then, you know, I signed a one page assignment agreement with the buyer saying they're going to take over that contract for, you know, X amount of dollars. They're going to pay me an assignment fee. And I don't get paid that until the deal closes. So you can't expect to, you can't go out there and, you know, have a deal that you, that's not going to close and just run off of the money. Like, it's all through a title company. It's all, like, tracked and stuff like that. So don't be stupid about it. But let me take a couple more looks. With how much did I start? Uh, <laughs> I literally had a, a negative $150 in my bank account. I told you guys in the beginning when Ty was still here, I, I borrowed $10 from my then-girlfriend, now my wife, uh, from her dad to use as the earnest money in my first deal. And the seller was very happy that I was buying this thing. He, his dad, he had inherited it on that, you know, the not this property, but the first deal I ever flipped. And he had inherited the property. And that thing was a dump. I'm pretty sure if you go on Google Maps, you can see what it looked like. And ugh, that thing, there was holes in the floor. The front was about to like fall over. It didn't even look like a house. You could probably tell if you look at the rehab pictures like on Zillow of the property. Um, it doesn't look like a house. So he was very happy. And I was surprised. Like, I knew I could pull it off, but I was even surprised myself that I was able to flip something so ugly. Do I have my LLC in a flip? Yes, I, I have an LLC. That's, that's like more of an, an advanced thing. And you, what you do is you go out there, you close your first deal, and then you go open an LLC. Don't get all caught up in all the, you know, the, the BS. Brandon, Brandon Simmons, my man, is on the call right now. Leverage... Joint venturing works, leverage other people's knowledge and contacts. I actually joint venture with Brandon in my second deal. I don't remember the address. Maybe Brandon, I'm seeing you on the comments on Facebook Live. If you can, uh, you know, maybe comment that address if you remember. You probably don't, but we made 16 grand on that. I made 8, 8K on that first, or that second deal from Europe. I was in Poland, and I had this property under contract before I left, and I handed it over to Brandon, and... Uh, we made 16K. I got a wire for eight grand while I was in Europe. Uh, uh, can I buy this on a land contract? Yeah, that's more advanced. I don't really want to confuse everybody. Um, but yeah, that's basically a seller finance kind of deal. <clears throat> sound is lit on YouTube. Is YouTube sound good? Good? Okay. I don't know what he's talking about. <laughs> Check. Oh, okay. All right, good. Hmm. Good, good. What's the website? Somebody said website is Zillow.com that I'm on right here looking at this property. All right, let me pull up another one from this month. Wait, my wife texts me. But it was one minute ago. If I wait like one minute to text her back, oh, I'm in trouble. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. All right. Um, let me figure out or let me pull up the other address. If you guys can see that, <clears throat> or one of the other addresses that we'll look at. Okay, 2842 North LaSalle Street. Um, okay, so 
line 2842 North LaSalle. That was also in Indianapolis. Okay, so LaSalle Street. Let me pull this one up on Indianapolis, or I mean on Zillow for you guys as well. I hope, by the way, you're appreciating that I'm actually showing you actual deals that we do. Like, I, don't, I haven't really seen many people show stuff like this, um, but hopefully this helps you understand that this is actually real and happening every day in your backyard. People are making money doing this. Um, okay. Zillow always had my dream home sold. Yeah, buy from a wholesaler, you'll get a better price. Uh, okay, 2842 North LaSalle. This also was like less than a month ago, so it's not, I'm gonna step over here. So it's not showing that, you know, the update. I'll show you what that looks like on a, on a couple of other deals in just a second. But this one was also in the same area as the other property of Indianapolis, lower end. The people, in fact, I don't even remember what the main motivation was on this deal. It, I have team members who negotiate with the sellers and stuff and we just literally use like Podio on our phone uh, to look at transactions. And uh, so yeah, I don't know, I don't remember what the exact motivation was. All I know is that LaSalle was vacant and that it was another turnkey type property. So basically what's gonna happen is the end buyer is gonna go fix up the property, they're gonna rent it out and then they're probably gonna sell it to somebody who wants cash flow income. So this one on LaSalle Street, we got in contract for and I know Nick, uh, my uh, acquisitions is watching right now. We got this one on a contract for like maybe 11K. And I think we made like, I think we made like 6K on this. Obviously lower price properties, you're gonna make less money uh, total. And uh, you know, 6K, not bad. Again, easy property that took us probably two or three weeks to finalize. And uh, the reason it took that, you can do a wholesale deal in a week, the reason it took couple weeks was I think we had like some city tax uh, payoffs like the title company we take it to the title company I showed you guys the contract with the seller they pull title on it what, it, what, what it's called and if they owe the seller owes taxes you got to get like payoffs and stuff like that so yeah another easy one that was in the books and uh, again follow my Instagram I post checks and stuff like that I post Lamborghini stuff like that so you can know that uh, you know that is real that I don't rent my Lamborghini because I'm sure there's been a couple of comments. This dude rents his Lamborghini. Uh, so yeah, don't they ask you for proof of funds? Juan, Juan uh, Duke said, I, I hope I said your last name right, man, but proof of funds. Okay, so here's the cool thing. I don't deal with realtors and if you're dealing with realtors, they might ask for proof of funds, but when you're dealing with a seller who you can show that you, you have expertise, you know, I'll show you guys all the info. You, when you have all this info in your head, and I'll show you guys, you know, I did a, a course with Ty, um, you literally can, you know, show your expertise. They'll understand, you know, you kind of know the area, you know what to do. They're gonna actually trust you, you know? And your tr their trust should not be ill-fated. You need to actually know what you're doing, and it's pretty simple to learn how to do this correctly. But a seller who respects you and understands that you're an expert, expert, uh, you don't need to be doing it for 10 years to be an expert. You just need to know a little bit more than they do and know how to do it. Um, you know, they're not gonna ask you for a proof of funds. And if they do, here's a cool thing. Hit me up and say, yo, Jalen, I got this smoking hot deal or throw it in the face. I'll talk about the Facebook group in a second, but throw it in the Facebook group. Yeah, I got this deal. Does anybody want a JV? You know, then can, it, can you send me proof of funds if you have it? Guess what? There's different ways to get proof of funds online because when you have a good deal, People just kind of want to throw money to help fund that deal. Uh, hard money lenders and stuff like that. So you can get proof of funds in a second if you did need them. I've only been asked for proof of funds on like two deals in three years. So I wouldn't really worry about that much at all. So yeah, so LaSalle Street, that was a good property. And uh, yeah, okay, by the way, for new viewers, he just let me know, I need to get better live streams, but for new viewers, my name is Jalen, I'm going over, uh, I, I wholesale real estate, I'm going over some deals. This property on LaSalle Street, we made like six grand on, bought for 11, assigned it for, uh, you know, I think it was 16. So I just bought my, Lamb my first Lamborghini at 21 years old. Uh, it's kind of fun. I showed a picture of it here, I'll pull it back up. 
And uh, obviously, you know, again, I'll say it again, money's not everything at all, but this was my lifelong goal. Um, there it is, I don't know. Some dude, at, I was at a convention, some dude wanted to ride in it, so I'm like, hey, have your son take a picture too. Yeah, that's it, it's convertible. Follow me on Instagram again, it's right there. I can't hide having a Lamborghini. I didn't rent the thing to come on Ty's live stream right now. Um, but yeah, I started flipping uh, or wholesaling at 21 years old, all right, excuse me, 18, I'm 21 now. Closed my first deal two days before graduation and uh, turned it into a multiple six-figure business, hopefully soon to be a seven-figure business. We just had our first six-figure month um, this last month, so. Yep, what's your Instagram, Tony? It's uh, right up here, I might, probably can't see it that great. Cool, is it good? Okay, so actually Brandon, who I was telling you guys about, I JV'd my second deal with him. He just texted me the address to my second deal, so this should be fun. Thank you, Brandon, if you're still watching, I appreciate it. Um, let's see, that was 6939 West Shaw Butte Drive, Peoria. All right, okay. So as you can see, the flipper's actually, here, let me move this, Jalen White, J-A-E-L-I-N, White. Um, as you can see right here, this is the property fixed up. This was not what it looked like whenever we walked in. These particular sellers, I was very excited to do the deal. Again, it's about bringing value. Um, with them, I, uh, you know, they saw one of my marketing pieces. I did uh, bandit signs, they're called. And uh, they called me and they had two mortgages. They had moved out of this property and they were living in some other property and they couldn't afford the two mortgages. So you can imagine, they, if they wanna go, the average days on market in Phoenix is like 45 to 60 days. And if they wanted to go and sell that property retail, which number one, it did not look like this. I'll show you the pictures, but are we all good? Okay. Okay, so yeah. So it did not look like this. It wasn't a retail ready condition, but if they wanted to go list it, it could have taken 45 to 60 days, maybe more on the market. Cause when it's not fixed up, it takes longer to sell. So they contact me, you know, my offer was a little bit lower than what they wanted to see. So we didn't make a deal on the spot when I went to look at the property. This was back when I actually went to see them. As you can see, the, uh, the flipper who I sold it to sold it in September of 2015. I did this deal in like, uh, a cl we closed it in June of 2015. So, um, so yeah, they, uh, we didn't agree to the deal on the spot, but three days later, they call me back three or four days. I don't, it was three years ago almost. So um, they call me back and they say, hey Jalen, we wanna do the deal. Um, we, if you can come up two grand, we'll do the deal. And I'm like, okay. And uh, I already had a buyer for the area that I'd been networking with and he offered me Three, I think we had the contract for like 110. I'm not, these numbers I don't know for sure because this was three years ago. We had the contract for 110 or something like that. And that guy offered me a $3,000 assignment fee. And I went and negotiate, or I mean, uh, JV with Brandon, he's on the, he's on the call right now and uh, on Facebook. And he helped me sell it. And we made 16 grand assignment fee and I got 8K. You know, we split 50-50. So not a bad deal. And he took care of the closing while I was in Europe. We helped the seller. They said, thank you. They're very grateful, um, you know, and we got the deal closed up and brought value. So that was my second ever deal. Um, so now I showed you a couple from this past month. I showed you a couple from when I first started. Let me show you one that I was actually very proud of. Um, it was in Memphis. I think it was 6845 Cardinal Ave. I hope this is the address. We do enough deals, they like all kind of blend together. Let me try 6945. No, that's not it. Bear with me, I, got, I don't remember the freaking address. 68, dang. I don't know, man. I wish, uh, so anyways, I don't remember the specific address of this. It was like, it was 68, if one of you guys can find it, uh, let me know in the comments. But I think it was 6845 Cardinal Avenue in Memphis. But again, this was, this was mid 2016. So like a year and a half ago. 
Uh, maybe I can find it on here because I really want to show you guys that particular property. But let me see the comments real quick. Please talk about Cali. I'll talk about it in a second. Expe inspection period. So yeah, so some of you guys are asking how do you like be able to back out of the contract? So number one, you shouldn't have to back. I've only backed out of like three contracts in, in business. And uh, you should only have to back out if you didn't do your numbers right and you don't know the area. But if you're a newbie, network with some buyers and figure out what's the going rate for that area. But how do you back out? So in contracts, there's something called an inspection period in a real estate contract. So basically what that is, is you know, let's say I'm signing the contract with Joe and we have a 10 day, 10 business day inspection period. That says I have those 10 days to go inspect the property, go figure out if it's worth what I thought it was worth and make sure I really want to have that thing. You know, and in our situation, bring in a buyer to assign the contract to. Um, and hey, you know, if it's not worth what I thought it was worth at the, within the inspection period, I can back out. Now, I like to sign contracts to where the whole contract period is an inspection period. Um, but obviously, good business tactics, you don't want to like string out a, a deal that's not going to be a deal. You know, typically, if it's a deal, you can close that thing in a week or two, you know, especially if you've been networking with buyers, uh, which I talked to you guys about how to do. So grace period of inspection, exactly. So it's very simple, uh, just simple contract law. Even with realtors, you have an inspection period. It's kind of very strange not to have an inspection period. And once you become more advanced and you know, you know what a great deal looks like, you can sign them without inspection periods if that helps you win the deal. But when you're starting out, you don't want to take away inspection periods. And in fact, you should always have inspection periods. But this deal on Cardinal Avenue, so it was, it was like a 2-2 two, two, two at the time. And I wish I could pull it up, but I'm gonna spend probably too much time trying to figure out where it was. But this one was funny, because uh, this was my first virtual deal. So I live in Phoenix, or I lived in Phoenix. Now I live again in you know the metro area in Scottsdale. But uh, this was my first virtual deal. And so I did some marketing in Memphis, and I found this deal. It was a 2-2, two -two. the guy had inherited it. He'd never even touched the property. He didn't want to deal with it. And it, it was down to the studs, which means like totally stripped. Like if you can imagine, no walls, uh, you know, electricity's kind of messed up, whatever. And I got the contract on that one. I believe that was like 120 or 110. This was in mid 2016. I think I was like 19 or maybe 20 at the time. And uh, we signed the contract and I realized, you know, shoot, I should have talked to buyers beforehand. So I talked to one of my other buddies who did business in the area and he's like, yeah, I get to help you find a buyer for that deal easy to assign the contract to. And uh, so we looked and this dude who we assigned it to was literally driving down the street. He lives right down the road. He's like, oh, holy shit. I cannot believe that this tw freaking 19 year old just got a deal in my backyard from across the country and now I have to pay and we made 55 grand on that assignment fee and uh, I was very happy to hear that because that means that I was doing something right that he was not doing which was doing the correct marketing which is very important and again I'm just I'm talking about the deals right now so I won't get too into that we'll talk about that again in a bit but um, how did you get the contract how do you get the contract so basically you know, you do your marketing, you send letters, you do bandit signs, stuff like that, and, a, and show that you're looking to buy properties, and the seller says, hey, I want this amount. And you say, hey, I can pay you this amount using our formulas and all that. I talk about that in the course and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, so <laughs> using all that to figure out, and then once you agree on a price, you sign a purchase agreement. Um, I have a simple two-page purchase agreement um, that works for my business. Maybe it won't work for yours, but um, yeah, very simple. Um, Have you ever lost money on it? No. Okay. Good question. Good question. Because I'm sure a couple of people are thinking that. So here's the cool thing. Uh, I technically maybe I've lost money, but that's like I did put a hundred dollar earnest money, and uh, I just gave it to the seller instead of taking it back when we closed the deal. I gave him a hundred dollars extra, so didn't really lose money. I was just giving mo extra money to the seller. But since we're wholesaling, there's no risk. So I've got the property with Jim. You know, where's my Put my marker down. So, oh, right here. Duh. Um, let me rip these. Here, just go. Okay. Cool. Okay. So yeah, I was talking about uh, what was I talking? Oh, losing money. 
So you don't lose money on wholesale deals. Here's why, it's because I got that contract for 50K with Jim, and that contract has an inspection period, and for me, it's the whole contract period. For you, maybe it's 10 days, I don't know. Depends on what you can negotiate with the seller. Let's say my inspection period is 30 days and we're set to close in 30 days. So let's say seven days goes by and I realize, oh shoot, this property is not worth 100K like I thought it was gonna be worth. You know, I, I did my numbers wrong. I, maybe I didn't know the area. Maybe comps have changed in the past. Okay, we're resetting Instagram. All right, what's up guys? Jalen White, I just bought Lamborghini at 21. I uh, did it through wholesaling real estate, and I'm talking about that. We've got YouTube, Live Call, Periscope, um, everything. Instagram just reset. Everything is up, and uh, I'm showing you guys how I did it. I was going through a few deal examples. I think it should be posted on Ty's Snap or Instagram. Go rewatch it if you're new from Instagram. Uh, I'm talking about some of the deal examples. Made 6K on one deal, made 5K, made 100K on on. on a deal before talking about a deal right now in Memphis that I made 55 grand assignment fee on um, in 2016. And I, I went uh, through a couple from the past month. I went through a couple of deals uh, that I did when I first started, and I'm going through a couple from like in, in between. So you guys can get an idea of you know the deals that I've been doing throughout my career. Uh, so this yeah this one was in Memphis, but somebody was asking me what happens if or have you ever lost money on a deal? And my answer is no because the process is, is Jim's got that property for sale and you agree to 50K, you sign a, a purchase agreement with an inspection period so you can get out of it, get out of the contract within that inspection period and that could be whatever amount of time you negotiate with the seller. And let's say you, just, you realize that, oh shoot, the property is not worth 100K, it's actually worth 60K. And my numbers were off. So I'm gonna call Jim and I'm gonna say, hey Jim, look, I really apologize, I, uh, is the first time I'm really doing this specific area of the city, or maybe you're new and you can say, be honest and say, Jim, look, I'll be honest with you. Um, this is my first time flipping in this, in, in this area or whatever. I'm, I'm new to the area. And I'll be honest, I thought I could pay 50 grand, but looking at comps at this point, now five days later, I'm realizing, you know, with the repairs of the property, this thing is not worth 50K to me. I can't make any money on that. So Jim, look, I'm gonna be really straight up with you. We can either, get a reduction, I, you know, and, and again, if you don't wanna do this with me, Jim, it's fine, but uh, I can either come down to 30K, you know, because the properties were 60, or we can just cancel the contract. Now, obviously, that's not a fun call to make, and if you built rapport and you're actually an ethical person, they're not gonna be pissed, they're gonna understand you're being upfront with them. You know, purchases don't go through. Someone who sells their property on the MLS, it's called with realtors, is gonna have people back out of the deal. Sometimes this is gonna have to happen. So you wanna make sure your numbers are right, but if it does happen, you don't lose money on the deal because you don't have any risk in it, you know? You realize, okay, I can't make any money, even if it's just $1,000, I can't make that assigning the deal. So Jim, I'm gonna need, you know, uh, I'm gonna need to come down to 30,000 or I'm gonna need to cancel the contract. Which one do you wanna do? Either way is fine with me. And he's either gonna agree to that uh, $30,000 drop or cancel. And, and you'll know what to drop by, um, by the feedback of the cash buyers you're talking to. So maybe some, one guy says, look man, that property's in rough shape, I can give you 35. And you know, you don't wanna beat Jim too down because you wanna be ethical. You don't wanna say, Jim, I'll give you $10,000 for the property. No, you wanna be ethical. You offered him 50K. You know, you wanna make it a 5K is a fair profit maybe 3K or whatever you think is fair. And uh, you wanna say, Jim, I need to come down to 30. And if you can't do it, I totally understand, but I'm trying to give you my top dollar here. And I've talked to a couple of my partners who are gonna help me get the deal done. And we need to be down at 30 or we need to cancel the contract. So no, I don't lose money on deals because I don't put any money uh, into that deal. Um, <clears throat> do you have a, a Facebook group? Um, yeah, we'll talk about that. Hmm. What if Jim says, I found another wholesaler that will give me 60K? Good question. So here's a thing that people, maybe people don't understand. So the cool thing is, is once you sign that contract with Jim, now there's mutual understandings in that contract, minus two pages. Like we go through it line by line before we sign it with the seller, uh, with them. 
So everybody understands the situation. Jim cannot back out of that. When Jim signs that purchase agreement, he's signing it for good. Now, obviously, if Jim has some family issue where he's got to move back into the property or something like that, I'm going to work with him on the deal. I'm not going to force him to sell it. Now, in some situations, maybe Jim is is going to try to sell to somebody who has more mo or uh, is uh, trying to offer him more money. He can't do that because he has a signed agreement with you. Now, uh, the inspection period is for the purpose of the buyer. For the buyer to do his due diligence. The seller, once he signs that agreement, uh, is locked in. So at that point, if you want to be nice, then you can, you know, do things with it. But uh, so find those 10 buyers, then make contract to sell to them. Yeah, I mean, uh, you can uh, mention to, you know, go to different networking groups, and I talk about that in the course as well, how to get these buyers. And then you go out there and you market for good deals. And, and here's the cool thing: if you're like, oh, I don't want to wholesale. This, the basic process of wholesaling is finding deals. You don't need to flip and wholesale the deal and make money. You have these buyers, you have me, you know, you can say, hey, look, I've got this deal in Phoenix. Uh, it's worth 100. I got the contract for 40. I'm a little baby and I don't feel like getting, I can get a 5K assignment fee. I'm scared. Can you come in on the deal? And I'll say, yeah, I'll put up the money and we can split the, uh, split the profits. Or I'll put up the money and I'll give you 25% of the profits, whatever the buyer is going to agree to. And, uh, you know, you can flip with no money down. There you go. Simple process. It's the same process um, of finding the deal and stuff like that. Um, except for you get paid a lot quicker on wholesaling and it's legal. You're doing it through a title company. Everything is laid out, you know. It's not like a scary thing to make money on a deal and deliver value to a seller. Like, no. <laughs> so... Uh, so to be clear, we're not fixing the house, or are we? Nope, you're not doing anything to the house. You do not put one penny into that property, especially when you just have a contract on a property. No way. I don't ever touch a property. Uh, I, this year, we, my wife and I do want to do more fix and flipping just because you want a healthy mix of, well, you know, once you've been doing it for a while and you have cash to play with, you want to buy some properties to fix and flip that are going to be better deals, and then some deals you just want to wholesale, or the majority of deals. So... Maybe out of 10 deals, I might want to wholesale eight and fix and flip two. So no, I don't fix up these wholesale deals at all. If you're a newbie getting into the game, or really if you're, uh, no matter what you are, you probably want to start, get started out wholesaling because this is the basis. You know, wholesaling is an exit strategy. You find the deal, you know, you got the deal down here. And then you can wholesale you can fix and flip, or you can buy and hold. So rent, rent out. So you're finding the deals using these marketing campaigns. You're negotiating, you're figuring out what it's worth. Now for me, my personal favorite strategy is wholesaling, because look, I'll be honest with you, on most of these deals I wholesale to people, I make the same amount that they're gonna make fixing up that property in six months or three months or however long it takes them. I, may, I might make 20K on a wholesale deal, 20 grand, and they might make 20 grand flipping that deal, actually putting in the rehab after they buy it from you and close on that deal. They might make 20 grand in three to six months. And I make that money because finding a deal in today's market is where the value is. Wholesaling is valuable. So I wouldn't even think about doing work, especially if you're just starting, getting started on the, uh, the thing. So yeah, all right, only two pages. Yeah, my specific contract is two pages. But someone said California formula. So here's the cool thing. This same thing I'm explaining to you, it's the same process in every state. It's literally specific states, you have different title companies. And like you might have a closing attorney in New Jersey, you might have a title company in Arizona, you might have a title company and an escrow company in California. But all you got to do is just call up title companies or go on forums and say, hey, is New Jersey a, uh, a title company state? Or hey, how do, how do, uh, is New Jersey a closing attorney state? There's literally, it's going to be one of those three most likely, unless you live in like Guam or something and you're trying to wholesale there, which I can't teach you how to do that. But uh, yeah. So it's this, there's no different process for like a different state. Some marketing campaigns work better. So like I use things called Bandit signs in Phoenix. Bandit signs don't work as well in like California. Some parts, some areas they do. You got to test for your area. 
Uh, door knocking is always good, and uh, I'll talk about those in just a few um, seconds. But so we did this, uh, you know, I did this course with Ty, and uh, I came in because I wanted more JV partners. So all I need is for you guys, I'm showing you guys this stuff for free. Like, I'm not being paid to be here right now. I am coming here for free. I'm showing you this stuff. All I need to know is that you guys need to JV deals and you can get into the course we'll talk about. Uh, let's do some deals together. <laughs> um, so this would work in Covina, absolutely. I have a buddy who does about two or $3 million a year uh, wholesaling in, in California, in SoCal here. And he lives in, uh, you know, LA County. <clears throat> in fact, I just, uh, I just did a couple of deals in LA County, but. Okay, so one thing you gotta understand is I did this course with Ty, and you can go out there and you can try to, you know, do all your different marketing campaigns and stuff like that, but I literally spent tens of thousands of dollars on like different mailing campaigns, different bandit sign campaigns, and this is after my first two deals I got with literally like 50 bucks in marketing spend. Uh, just money I saved up. I was negative in my bank account uh, after getting my marketing. <laughs> um, so I literally went into debt, debt overdraft on my bank account to um, you know, do that. I did bandit signs, cost me about 50 bucks. So you can get your deals with that, but then you can go out and you know, what, how do you know what's gonna work the best? I literally, for the past three years, have done so many different campaigns that it would be unimaginable to you. So, you don't probably don't realize at this point, you're thinking like, oh, finding buy. I see a lot of questions about buyers. I see a lot of questions about contracts and stuff. The toughest thing is finding these motivated people who want you to help them uh, and buy their properties off of them. That's the toughest thing. So when I talk about marketing, is the most important thing, and that is where I believe my expertise really comes in. Like I can, you can give me any address and I can figure out kind of the rough value on it. You can get, show me pictures of a property and I can give you a rough repair estimate. And I, I know how to do those things, but I'm the best at marketing for these you know, sellers. Finding people, just like any other business, you got a social media ad agency, you need to be able to find people who need help doing social media in their business. So as far as marketing goes, I like to do what's called bandit signs, So basically what bandit signs are is just these signs that say we buy houses with a phone number. And uh, you gotta be careful in your area. Some areas don't allow them. Uh, I like to pick the areas that do allow them and that aren't as strict on them. So that's how I got my first two deals. Uh, I do direct mail. Uh, so basically, I'll pull, I'll pull up a uh, letter real quick of something So you can handwrite your own letters. Like I'll show you right now. Basically, you, wouldn't, you would be like, dude, does this actually work to get people who wanna sell their properties? If, you've seen, if I just try to explain this to you, but no, it actually freaking works. And this is how I got my uh, like third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth deal in that first year. I started sending uh, letters. So here's an example. Oops. Zoom out. I, I'm a PC guy. I don't know how to use Mac that well. Okay, so here you go. Look, this is just an example letter. I wouldn't go call this. Well, it's, it's like a fake number. It's on my mail house. Um, so, dear John, John is the owner of the property. My name is Kyle, and I would like to buy your property located at 413 Sponge Avenue. My name is not Kyle. My name is Jalen White, if you're new to the freaking stream. So this is not me writing this letter. This is not my phone number. This is just an example but I would like to buy your property located at blah, 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 uh, 413 Sponge Avenue. Please call me with the phone number. With some asterisks, we can close on the date you choose. I buy the property as is, no repairs to make. Uh, I, we buy the property with cash. Obviously, not our cash, but it's other people's money. That's like one big real estate thing, other people's money. Uh, you don't have to deal with real estate agents and you don't have to pay uh, commissions and fees. So. That's like kind of the sales pitch when you're offering to buy property. They get to save on that commission for real estate agents. And uh, then you got your phone number. And 
again, I did this course with Ty, I'll talk about it in a few, but I show you like how to get the correct number, how to track that, how to get the lists, because I could literally spend three hours on data, like right now, and not even be halfway through talking about how to find the correct properties to target. Tax default list, so people who owe on their taxes. Vacant list, so properties that are vacant. In fact, I'm, I'm currently developing some software to like provide these lists, so maybe uh, you know, I can have Ty share that with you guys. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, so you mail these to like tax delinquent properties. Um, tax delinquent, they owe on taxes. Um, vacants, pre foreclosures. I'll tell you what, my parents, uh, we lost our house in uh, 08, whenever the economy crashed. If there was somebody that could have come in and saved us from a pre foreclosure situation, uh, I'm sure that would have changed our lives because, you know, obviously that hurts your credit, hurts a lot of things. Um, so we market to those people because if we can help them in that situation and make some money on it, then it's a win win for everybody. So, yeah, I like to send that letter. So, some other marketing tactics I like to use. Um, well, I'll put, I was going to PPC on, so basically online, like Google Ads slash online. And in here, you could throw in a lot of different things. So we got like Craigslist marketing. We got for sale by owner marketing. There's just so many different ways to dip your hand in the paint and, you know, find these sellers who want to sell their property at a discount. So, yeah. Um, what's up? Okay. Yeah, by the way, guys, um, you, so you can actually check out the program um, that we, I did with Ty. Now, some of you guys like to actually learn in an organized step-by-step -step, uh, fashion. We sat down for like a long time. I couldn't talk afterwards. It was a couple days, I think, uh, recording the program. And, uh, you know, I talk about exactly how you get those bandit signs, exactly how you find those lists, how you prepare the letters and the phone numbers on the letters. How do you pick markets to, you know, flip in? How do you know whether you want to do it in your local market or a virtual market? And you can find that actually. I'm going to pull up. Uh, it's just tylopez.com slash real estate live. Yeah, but I want to, I want to show that real quick because I'm going to use the screen. Okay. So we don't really we need that one. <clears throat> so if you guys are interested, uh, we recorded a course together. That's going to share like everything. You guys already see what I'm talking to you about. And look, I'd love to sit here for 10 hours and try to share everything, but it wouldn't even be a portion of what you need to know. And uh, not to mention, I'd be training tens and hundreds of thousands, probably millions of my competition. So uh, we got some really in-depth info in there. You can go check out on the links. Um, but yeah, so real quick, what's in that course? Um, you can go to that link or you can wait, whatever. But we got a few different modules. So like I start out talking about basic, like how to pick your market. Uh, some different like mindset things that you have to figure out because make no mistake, man, a lot of you guys, a lot of people who look at getting into real estate, they don't have the correct mindset. They don't understand that when you go into a seller's property, all you need to do is, is just understand some of the basic information and be an expert. And you know, I talk about how to go in there, how to do the marketing. I just showed you guys a, a couple different options of like five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, sometimes different options that we use to market to sellers. And yeah, you know, I talk about exactly break down how to do each of those, how to find the list, how do you send the mail, how do you get the bandit signs, how do you do the online marketing. You know, some of you guys probably don't have money. Um, someone said, my, uh, my wife is beautiful. Thank you. I, I think that's a girl, so I can say that. Uh, where's Ty? I think he's meditating. He had no shoes on when we started out. <laughs> no. Um, so yeah, so we got to we talk about marketing, we talk about negotiation. So what do you do when you're actually talking to a seller and you, you know, you look in, you're looking at the area, how do you figure out what the property is worth? How do you figure out the repairs of the property? How do you, you know, negotiate the price? How do you sign that contract? What does that contract look like line by line? I literally break down my personal contract. Um, move into how to find buyers. We move into how to do assignment agreements. Literally everything you need step by step on how to do this business. And I just showed you guys examples. Like, I'm sure there's probably a couple of comments. I'm trying to stay focused. But uh, 
A um, couple of comments like, oh, this is fake. I just showed you deals, man. Go follow my Instagram. I mean, you can't fake a Lamborghini. Like, I'm not some, uh, you know, coach that made all his money coaching or whatever. I do deals, you know. Um, so, yeah, let me uh, move the board a little closer for you guys. That I'm seeing some comments like, um, okay. So, yeah, I showed you the deals. I showed you examples. I showed you them from different points in my life um, to kind of, give you a clear picture as to what it looks like. And I'm gonna be honest with you guys, some of you guys like, okay, real quick, what what market are you guys in? Like, what area are you guys in? Ugh. Where are you guys in? Philippines. You can do deals in, in the United States from the Philippines. Um, why is this a thing? Well, honestly, everything has a purpose because where there's value needed, where there's a need, somebody will fill that to make money. So people have these properties that they need to, you know, get rid of. And that's where real estate flipping came into fruition. F people who actually want to do the work on the properties need to be connected to the people who want to sell their properties fast. And that's where wholesalers come into the picture. You know, I don't know if, I don't know if you guys real realize this, but this might sound so foreign to some of you guys, the real estate thing, but Cars, it's the same thing in the car industry. You have car wholesalers. You have car wholesalers who are posting ads on Craigslist. Hey, we buy car cars for cash. And they're going to go and they're going to buy your car for, let's say you have some a Prius. Let's say you have a Prius. It's worth 10 k retail at a dealership. And that, they're going to come to you and they're going to say, hey, I'll give you five grand for that car. And uh, you'll sell it on Craigslist for five grand or whatever. And they're going to take that car and they're going to sell it to a bigger dealership. Now, obviously, with a car, it's a lot lower price point than houses, you know, and, and there's no escrow period. So there's no really way to do it without money, but it's the same process. So distribution is it's in like the meat industry, the food industry. You, know, you have a company that creates the product and you have a, a middle company that kind of di distributes the product. And then you have a retail company that, you know, sells the product to the customers. And so we have a seller who has a product that they do not want to fix up, they don't want to deal with, we come in, we take that product off their hands, we bring in a buyer who's going to do that and bring it to the public and fix it up. So, yeah, uh, I, thought you, I always thought you needed to know construction to do real estate, Justin said. Nope, I don't do any construction, so no. What's my name? Uh, tap Tap said, Jalen White. Jalen White, J-A-E-L-I-N White. Uh, I'm, you can follow my Instagram or YouTube or whatever you want to do. Nope, you do not need to know construction. Thank you, Brianna and Nett. Um, New York people want to work on this together. Dude, I tell you what, people do not understand. That's the power of real estate since there's such a big like piece of the pie to do in deals. JV deals are great to do. It's great to you know, find other people to um, do deals with. You know, there's a lot of meetup groups out there. You can start going to your local RIA meeting, Real Estate Investor Association. Um, you can start, you know, talking to different people in your market, figuring out who's doing deals. It's going to help you feel comfortable. You know, some of you guys are so like, oh, my gosh, you're scared. I remember laying in my bed at 18. Um, I had just gone to this free seminar. Maybe some of you guys are like, oh, this is a scam. That, that same free seminar, some dude was in the bathroom like, screw this BS. I'm, uh, I'm gonna leave, and I'm like, okay. I went back in, and I didn't even think it was possible for myself. So I remember laying in my bed, laying, uh, looking up at the ceiling, being like, dude, uh, is this too big of a, of a deal for me to get into at 18? Like, that's a serious deal, like flipping a property with no money. You don't think it's possible. And then once you do the first deal, it's kind of like, it's like riding a bike. You know, when you first take off the training wheels, it's kind of hard, you're kind of wobbly. Uh, you're scared of falling. You think, you know, you're thinking about the worst case scenario, you break a bone or something. And, uh, you know, but then eventually you have no problem riding that bike. You can even hop on that bike from a running start and, you know, start going 100 miles an hour. It's easy. And that's how it is at this point. You know, once you start doing more deals, it gets simple. It's a simple process. You find a seller, you, you know, agree to a price with that seller. You have cash buyers. You assign the contract that you signed with that seller to that cash buyer for a fee. It's a simple process. As long as you're upfront with everybody, as long as you're ethical, people are happy to do business with you. Um, so I want to know how much he usually tries to profit. 
So my specific profit goes off of, and I share this in the course as well, um, I call it the quick profit formula. So I go basically, I figure out what the property is worth. And depending on your market, I, I talk about how to figure that out. It it's, gets a little, a little complicated, not really, but like a higher end market like LA, you can do times 80% minus repairs, minus your uh, wholesale fee. So basically let's say the property is worth 100 grand times 80% 80 per, 80 of that is 80, 80 grand. And then minus repairs, let's say it needs 20K, so 60 minus your profit, which let's say I wanna make 10K. My, and you can choose what you want your average profit to be. So let's say I wanna make 10K. So I'm gonna go shoot to get that property for, what was that gonna be, like 50? I don't even remember my math that I was just talking about. But yeah, how do you find the people? I just talked about different marketing campaigns. You can use bandit signs, direct mail, uh, online marketing on Craigslist. You can call uh, people who have properties, landlords who will own properties and are trying to rent them out. You can say, hey, I'm looking to buy a property in the area. Um, are you interested in getting an offer? And God, don't, understand, don't think that you're gonna go hit up your first person and get a deal. Like some of you guys will go to Zillow and look at the for sale by owners and like expect the first five people to be like $10,000 profits on every single deal. For every about 25 to 30 offers I make in my business, we get a deal that makes us, let's say 15 grand. So um, yeah. Uh, tap, tap, I don't have a Twitter. I need to make one, but I don't have one. So yeah, I have a couple of people um, like saying, yeah, this will change your life. How much is the assignment fee? Stotts, OFA. Uh, assignment fee can be however you want it, however much you want it to be. Um, you pick it. So get to know real estate agents. They have databases to hundreds of investors and buyers. I love to use real estate agents for my buyers that I'm assigning the deal to. Uh, put uh, how to find buyers. Okay, I already I talked about that. Um, so how do you find buyers? You can go to different real estate meetups. You can do crazy ads. And again, if you want a step-by-step, -step, like in-depth way of seeing this, I can't, I'm not gonna sit here for 10 hours, 20 hours doing this. Uh, we, we, we're on a time schedule. My wife's at Disneyland right now waiting for me to get back. Um, but I, I broke it down in the course. You can go to meetups, you can do Craigslist postings saying, hey, I'm a wholesaler, I'm looking for buyers to network with and partners. Um, you can you know, talk to real estate agents and let them know, hey, I'm doing marketing in the area, looking for good deals, blah, blah, blah. So would this work in Charlotte, North Carolina? Yes, and I have multiple friends doing deals in Charlotte, North Carolina. This literally works in every single market. Like I'm not joking. Even if you live in the boondocks, there's a buyer for everybody at the right price. Uh, now I talk about that in the course that you are gonna need to account for that when you are buying the property. You have to get it for a lower price if it's like in the middle of nowhere. Um, where do I get my comps? I use Zillow and Redfin. Someone mentioned connecting with realtors. If you have a good realtor, they can also give you comps. But personally, I use, uh, I use uh, Zillow and Redfin, or my team. Because I have, you know, now I have an acquisition guy and inside sales rep who, you know, helped me deal with sellers. Would this work in Hawaii? Yes. In fact, I want to get into Hawaii because um, I want to, obviously, who doesn't want to live in Hawaii? So, um, yeah, and they're high price point. So the more money a property costs, the higher you can make per deal. So somebody said, do you need, no, San Diego is not too expensive. Juan, San Diego is not too expensive, dude. San Diego is more expensive, which means instead of making 10K on a deal, you can make 100K. So just keep that in mind. You do not need a license. And guys, can I get another LaCroix? Yes. Thank you. <clears throat> Real deal type of thing. No license needed. Yeah, no license needed. It works everywhere, everywhere in the US. Now, if you're in another, another country and you wanna do it, I would recommend doing it in the US because I can't teach you how to do it in like freaking uh, South America or whatever. I can teach how to do it in, in US. That's where I do my deals. And uh, yeah, have you ever done any deals in Houston? Chadwick, yes, actually I have. My buddy Jake, uh, in late 2015, we did marketing in Houston. We closed a couple of deals together. So it's funny you actually mentioned that. That was one of the markets I was forgetting to mention. Um, okay. Uh, willing to learn here, really interested. Thank you very much. Uh, yeah, definitely. You can go to the link. Um, again, I sat down for a long time. I shared a lot of the stuff 
And my only thing is I would love more JV partners. So uh, you drink too much, bad nervous habit. I'm losing my voice, man, so I don't know if you can hear that, but I'm trying really not to lose it too much. Yeah, they think we know better sometimes. Yeah. How do you get $0 down? So I talked about in the contract, your only money that you're putting in the deal is a earnest money deposit. So when you sign that contract with a seller, you, have, you put down what's an, called an earnest money deposit with the title company or the closing attorney, and you can choose whatever amount you want. You, that could be zero. I don't recommend zero because in some states, in order for it to be a binding contract for, between you and the seller, in, in, in other words, for the contract to be legitimate, you have to put some sort of money. So my Facebook page is Jalen White, the world's youngest real estate uh, investor, actually. So, yeah. You, where can I get the course, pardon? It's, uh, if you're on the live call on the site, it's tylopez.com slash live. If you're on YouTube live, it's uh, tylopez.com slash finddeals. If you're on Facebook live, it's tylopez.com slash findcontracts. Instagram live, tylopez.com slash findproperty. If you're on Twitter, which I'm sorry, I, th I think we had some issues in the beginning, it's tylopez.com slash quickflip. Um, so I think they actually did some specials uh, for the course. Do you guys have that for me so I can oh, yeah, mention them? Flip that page over. Okay. So yeah, they actually included some pretty sick things, which I'm actually excited to watch these as well. So you got the course, um, you got the lifetime access to the mastermind community. So that's the Facebook group that I mentioned. So you can throw deals in there, look for JV partners. If you're in an area that I do deals in, maybe we can work together and do a deal together. Um, they got the accelerator persuasion bundle. So basically it's gonna teach you different persuasion techniques, very important when you're dealing with buyers and sellers. Just, you know, sales stuff. Um, you've got overcoming objections uh, with the Wolf of Wall Street. So I actually bought Jordan Belfort's program my first year, and I can tell you that changes the game in real estate. Because obviously when you're negotiating, there's some sales and stuff, you need to know how to talk to people, you need to know, to know how to negotiate, so that's huge. They got Jordan Belfort to come in and record some stuff for you for the course. You're gonna have productivity and time management mastery. Um, so that's important obviously because you're dealing with different leads, you're dealing with different marketing, you're dealing with different buyers. You gotta know how to manage your time. You gotta you know, know how to get shit done. So that's gonna help that. You got negotiation task tactics from the uh, former FBI hostage, uh, Chris, or negotiator, Chris Voss. So again, more negotiation tactics. I told you guys in the beginning, the most important thing in this business by far is being able to negotiate a good price with sellers, getting the deal. Um, and these things are gonna help you with that. So that's why I, I, uh, you know, I knew that'd be the most important thing that we cover, or one of the most important things is just negotiating, persuasion, stuff like that. So then we got Replay of Ty's uh, 2018 Mentor Conference. If you didn't go, that's pretty freaking valuable. He had a bunch of his mentors there, and uh, that'll be good. So right now you can get it for six ninety seven. dollars um, So obviously when you bundle all this up, you'll probably spend seven, eight grand. Um, but he's, you know, we threw up for 700. So six ninety seven. dollars So you guys can go over again to one of these sites. And I'm not gonna sit here and like try to hard sell you. Uh, I don't really care if you buy this or not. But for the people who do, let's do some deals together. Let's get it done. Because we talked about the marketing, we talked about the process, we talked about finding the deal, doing the marketing, leads, buyers, contracts, negotiations, figuring out what properties are worth. You'll know how to do all that. And it's literally gonna be like, you know, step one, do the marketing. Step two, here's how to negotiate and process your leads. Step three, here's how to sign a contract. Step four, here's how to find buyers. Step five, blah, blah, blah. So that's what we cover in the course. Again, if you don't buy it, I don't care. You're, you're at that point, you're either my competition or my, uh, you know, or my joint venture partners. So for those of you who are like, oh man, just trying to sell me a course, I really don't care if you buy it or not. I'm over here, my wife's at Disneyland, I'm just trying to help people and hopefully get some more JV partners. So uh, yeah. So do you need a lawyer doing the deals with you and others? I do not have a really solid uh, lawyer, like specific lawyer I mean, that I contact for deals because I don't have a need for one. Uh, when we got our contracts written up, that's we contacted a lawyer. When we got our assignment contracts written up, through a lawyer. But beyond that, you just use a title company. 
And if the seller has a lawyer that they want to look over the contract, that's totally fine. We don't hide anything in the contract, not like trying to be shady or anything like that. Very upfront, um, very honest, open and honest. And if they have an attorney they want to look over the contract, that's fine. But as far as, um, as far as me actually having an attorney, we don't do that. So by the way, if you guys do buy the course and you're like, oh shoot, what if I'm too scared? Or what if this doesn't work? They do have a money back guarantee, um, which is pretty sick. So you really have nothing to lose. I mean, like I said, don't buy it. If, you, you know, if you're not good with that, don't buy it. But we got a 60 day money back guarantee. Can I actually, can I show that? That's kind of cool. <laughs> We, it's not a perfect cut, but there you go. There's your 60 day money back guarantee in case you get a little scared, but we give you literally everything you need to know to go out there and do deals. So I showed you guys the deals. I showed you how we do it. You know, um, I'm seeing Damon John, the power broke. Yeah. I think he was just here a day or two ago talking about that. And I see a couple of comments like, what if I'm broke, work harder, figure out how to get money, you know, go out. I tell you what, for the people who say they don't have a couple hundred bucks, you're lying to yourself, man, because you can sit here and say, oh, this kid doesn't know what he's talking about. I did not. I can't call my mom today and say, hey, mom, can I have money to pay for marketing? Absolutely. She'd be, she slapped me across the face. You know, you know, I, I had to start just like most of you guys did, no money. And if you're going to sit here and tell yourself that you can't come up with a couple hundred bucks to do marketing, and you don't have to buy the course, but if you're gonna sit here and say, oh, I can't afford that course, I need to buy my Jordans, I need to go out and eat, go look at your budget, man. You probably spend, like I was looking at what we spend on food and we spend sometimes like 500 bucks a week on food, just going out to eat. And when I was broke, I spent a lot of money on food. Like I would do little pieces of work for people I knew, make maybe 50 bucks here for a few hours of, you know, four or five hours of work. and. You know, I'd spend it on food or a new pair of shoes, but for once, just make a little bit of a damn sacrifice and, you know, start a real business. You know, people talk about Bitcoin and stuff like that. Most of you guys have $1,000 to your name. Create a business that creates cash flow. Create a business that you is, can actually be predictable month in and month out. And obviously, there's no way to have a perfect business that just click buttons and make money, but have a real business that's gonna be here for a long time to stay and understand that business so you can pretty much print money. I know at this point in my personal life, and I'm not gonna speak for anybody I know, but I know what, what in my specific situation, now that I have this skill, if for some reason in 10 years the market crashes and I lose everything, I know that in 45 days or 60 days, maybe 30 days, I can go back, I can do some basic marketing, get 100, 200 bucks worth of marketing, I can talk to a seller, and in 30 to 45, 60 days at max, I can have another 10, 20 grand in my bank account. And that's a pretty amazing skill to realize that you've developed. Um, so, and you know, for me, there's people who say, oh, what about e-commerce? What about all that? Oh, that's fine. But I like to have something that is here to stay and real estate's never going away. This is a skill that, you, that will pay you for the rest of your life. We will always need houses to live in and apartment buildings to live in. You can go wholesale apartment buildings. Uh, one of my one of my uh, my mentors actually just flipped a uh, apartment building, wholesaled it, got it under contract, assigned that contract, and made four hundred grand on an apartment building. So that's crazy. Isaac said thoughts on the Detroit market. That's a very good market to be in. I showed you guys some of the deals in Indianapolis. Those are like the easiest deals I ever do. Phoenix, easiest deals when they're in the you know like rougher areas. Detroit has some rougher areas. Just figure out where people aren't buying, and I talk about that in the course as well. And, uh, and yeah, click buttons, make more money. I know, bro, that's Jeff. Literally, that is like every live stream you see nowadays. Obviously not ties, but all these scammer internet marketer dudes like telling you, hey, click this button, do that, do this and that. No, pick a real business. And that's why I, I like Ty and I like, I like all this stuff he puts out. Real business. You need a real cash flow business that can make you money every single month and pay your bills. So, um, is this useless for Europe? Tap, tap. I would say no, because no matter where you're at in the country, you can do deals in the US. You can assign contracts in the US. Now, I, I say that because I know people who have flipped from Prague. I know people who have flipped from Canada. Uh, I was saying earlier, I knew a dude, I don't know him personally, but I, I've heard about him in the you know, real estate kind of the community. 
he, he was flipping like, he made like 200 grand last year from, uh, from Lebanon or something like that, wholesaling in US. Do you need a team to do this? Absolutely not. Uh, you do not need a team. I have a team now after growing because obviously Ty's got a team here to help with, you know, all the stuff going on in his company. You need people to help and uh, you can't do it on your own to scale up to a million dollar business, 10 million, whatever your goal is. So for me, yes, I have a team now, but for you, maybe you want to make do one deal a month. Um, yeah. How do I feel about Atlanta? Atlanta is a killer market. I would love to do deals with you in Atlanta. Uh, Renee, yes, I do have a YouTube channel. Uh, my name is just Jalen White, J-A-E-L-I-N White, J-A-E-L-I-N White. I have YouTube, Instagram, stuff like that. Um, do you need a realtor's license? Uh, Samir, I, you do not, no. I don't have a license, no reason to have one because we're not agents. We're not doing anything like that. Yvonne, you know, bro, Bandit Sign Marketing is pretty much free. Haim, my boy Haim is on the call. This is the guy who I was telling you guys about. We did that deal in uh, Memphis like a year and a half ago that I was, I was proud of because the buyer literally like, holy crap, how did this freaking 19 year old get this deal in my backyard? And you know, he made, I had to pay him, you know, this amount. So I worked with Haim on that deal. Um, so um, does it work in Massachusetts? Absolutely, yeah. Howard County, Maryland. I don't know. I don't specifically know that county, but there's no reason that wouldn't work. Uh, what's up, Donald, my boy? I'm, I, I see a couple of my buddies on Facebook. I'm in masterminds. Um, mentor me. Alex, get in the course, man. Well, I'll be in the Facebook group. We'll be talking, uh, doing deals together in there. So, yeah, you do tell buyers you're assigning, you know. When a, when a, what's up? Absolutely. In fact, that's actually one of my goals is I want to, for 2018, I want to get into some commercial wholesaling. So obviously now I've got the residential figured out. We know how to market for sellers. We know, excuse me, how to run our numbers. Now I want to get into commercial deals because if you find a commercial deal and you get it for 2 million and you know you can, excuse me, wholesale for 2.5 million and make 500K, those deals are happening. Now that doesn't happen in two or three weeks. Might take you two months to wholesale that deal but it's totally possible. So this assignment kind of strategy is, you know, accounts for any, and in fact, I was, I was talking about uh, this article I, I read in, in uh, it was about some dude in New York, their company. So they had a building in, under contract in New York, and I can't remember the exact numbers they had it for, but you can look up the article. They had it under contract, and they assigned that contract for $7 million. That's when I was, I seen somebody comment, do you want to do this in New York City? Yes, I do want to do this in New York City because, you know, you got those big buildings that you can make a lot of money per deal. Now, I'm not saying I'm going to go out there and be able to make $7 million on one deal. I'm just saying, you know, there's a ton of opportunity in every single um, market. So M. Carafino, capital gains taxes. Um, now, talk to your CPA, but when you're wholesaling a property, uh, we get paid as an assignment. So it's uh, income, you know, to the business. So it's just tax as a business. Uh, there's no capital gains in, in this strategy. Obviously, you want to talk to your CPA for that situation, though, because I can't give you tax advice. So, yeah. <clears throat> Hopefully that I seen Jalen, what about taxes? Yes, of course, you pay income taxes. Uh, there's different ways to structure your entity. Again, talk to a CPA, but it's, I pay income, not capital gains on my wholesale deals. So Matthew asked, how did I get sent to Ty's house? So <laughs> Ty picked me up on the corner of the road earlier. I needed some food. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, I met Ty like two and a half years ago and uh, VidCon, yep. My, wife, my wife's a, a YouTuber and we were at VidCon and Ty and his team were, were there. And Ty, I'd reached out to him a while ago and he followed me. I was like so ecstatic. I was, you know, I was like, he probably will never look at my account, but I'm very excited that he followed me. <laughs> um, so I was able to DM him when he was at uh, VidCon and I went and said hi and I, I think I just made 70 grand that month. That was like probably two years ago. And, uh, and yeah, so we stayed connected and stayed caught up and he's really mentored me and it's been a blessing. So yeah, that's how I got uh, tied with him. Um, buy Bitcoin when, okay, I'm not gonna talk about crypto cause I don't know much about it yet. I know about real estate that's what I know. So yeah, man. Um, so you have no money, you have no time. You know, I showed you, you can make 10 grand on one deal. The average time into a deal is not a lot of time. 
you might be spending, you know, 10 hours on one deal. You might spend three hours on a deal that you make five grand on. You never know. So you don't need a ton of time. You just need to focus and actually follow the steps. Again, it's as step-by-step -step of a business as it can get. This is a formula. And it, I'm not trying to get all cheesy here, but that's what's beautiful about it, um, is that you literally send the marketing, get the sellers, get the contracts, get the buyers, make money. So yeah, if you don't have time, you're good. Um, you know, you can do it around your job. I have friends who do deals around their job because they're afraid to quit their jobs. Um, so yeah, uh, no money. Obviously, I told you I started with negative in my bank account. Obviously, if you can afford the program, you're going to want to go in there because you're going to save like, it took me like four months to learn how to do this, actually just watching YouTube videos online. So, and I made plenty of mistakes beforehand that I wish I could have avoided because they were very embarrassing. Uh, like getting properties at too high of a, of a price and stuff like that. And you can avoid all that by, you know, joining the course. So, yeah. Uh, does this strategy apply to Australia? So, not, I don't know how the Australian market goes, but you can wholesale from Australia into the U.S. or in the U.S. It's the same sort of situation. Personal name or LLC creation to do this, Isaiah said. Um, I have multiple LLCs that I use now, but for my first year, I did wholesaling just with my name. So, Tony said, did you have a job when starting? I kind of had a job, I was helping to load trucks. So I'd make probably like $450 a month and I was still in high school, so I wasn't working full time. Um, but helping to load trucks and uh, you know, it sucked. <laughs> so that was a motivation. How about the Las Vegas market curve? And I did a video on my channel with the dude who does like 100 grand a month in Vegas, one of my friends, Zadie, and uh, he kills it. And here's the cool thing. You wouldn't even know how many deals actually sell at a low price. Like in LA, you'd think, oh, it's so competitive. I'll tell you what, every month there's like 300 properties in LA that sell for under 50% of what their tax assessed value is. You can go look up the stats. Um, so let's say I get one deal a month Let's say a, a guy who's really good in LA is doing five to 10 deals a month. There's so many deals to go around, you know, each month. Let's say you're someone who wants to make like 50 grand a year. Okay, this, this is actually a good example. And uh, by the way, um, what's your Facebook page? Uh, Jalen White, J-A-E-L-I-N White. By the way, I figure this, is, this will be kind of cool because this makes me excited whenever I run numbers on my business and I look at like actually what it's gonna take to make a certain amount of money. So let's say you guys wanna throw in like amounts you wanna make in 2018. Just give me some numbers, like realistic numbers. Like don't say like a billion bucks or something. What are some numbers of money you wanna make? Let's see. I'll break down how you can make that in real estate. Okay, Ted, I see, I see your comment first on YouTube. Uh, 50 grand a year, I'd be happy with. Yeah, okay, so you wanna make 50K a year, okay? Ted, let's say you live in, uh, I'm just gonna pick a random city, let's say you live in Dallas, Texas, Ted. Let's say you live in Dallas, Texas. Okay, and you wanna make an extra 50K a year, okay? I didn't, when I was 18, I didn't even know what, you know, $1,000 in your bank account looked like. Um, by the way, I want to say congrats to Mike Gonzalez and Cole Mithero, um for picking up the course. Congratulations. I see a bunch of comments coming in. Um, yeah, so we'll, 50K. Let's say you want to make 50K wholesaling properties in 2018. Now, some of you guys are saying like 100K. Some of you guys are saying a million. All you got to do is scale it up from here. So we want to make 50K in income, okay? So let's say we're going to um, be in Dallas, Texas. This could be any city, but let's just say we're picking Dallas, Texas. And let's say in Dallas, Texas, we know the average price point, and you don't need to like go in and plug all the info and do all that kind of stuff. But you know, you look on Zillow, you see the average property is probably listed around 150. You know, you could take 10% of that property price and you can guess that's probably the average price or the average profit per deal. So let's say we're gonna make $15,000 per deal Fifteen k per deal. I made twelve twelve thousand dollars on my first deal, and Phoenix is similar to Dallas, so this is very realistic. And you want to do fifty k this year, fifty k in income. 
Okay, so you, you make him $15,000 a deal. And let's say, you know, we talked about the process, you gotta have leads, people who wanna sell. So let's say you're going to, you know, for every, the average, industry average is one in 25 leads. equals a deal, okay? We're just going through the math on how to make 50 grand in a year wholesaling real estate. So you're making $15,000 a deal. You got one in 25 leads are equaling you one deal that'll make you that 15 grand. So now you gotta go out there and we talked about some of the marketing. You know, we had, let me see if I had it right here. Um, we had like direct mail, we had bandit signs, we had PPC and online, we had, there's cold calling, there's driving for dollars, and it's all on that course. Uh, you know, I, I just had, had up this sign, but we got like, you can go to uh, tylopez.com slash real estate live, tylopez.com slash real estate live. I show you how to do all the marketing step by step and everything else we've been talking about. But you're gonna do that marketing to find 25 people who are interested in selling their property. And it's pretty easy, I mean, you know, you got, find five for sale by owners or 10 for sale by owners. You do some bandit signs, you get five people to call you. Um, and bandit signs are actually a lot hotter. So maybe one of those five will turn into a deal for you. But let's say you contact 25 people who are listed as for sale by owner on Zillow. And one of them happens to say, yeah, your price makes sense. Let's do a deal and you make a deal. So we made 15K. How are we going to get to 50 grand in a year? So now we know 15K, that's about, how much is 50 grand per month? That's like, I should have done 60 grand to make it even, but 50K divided by 12. So you're looking to make $4,166 per month, um, roughly. So that's one deal every three months. So that means every month, if, if you're not following the math, it's okay, I'm like, I will fall off too if I get too into math. So you gotta do one $15,000 deal every three months. That means pretty much each month, you've gotta to talk to roughly 10 people. Or leads. So people are interested in selling. So I'll tell you what, if you can't find 10 people in a month, that's like a person every three days. If you're too lazy to go out and call one person every three days to get a deal and make 15K and then turn that into a consistent business, I don't know what to say to you. You're just too freaking lazy. It, that's what's amazing about it. It's a numbers game. You talk to enough people, you will get a deal. So you need to talk to average of 10 people per month. You know, making offers, make 10 offers per month. And there you go. At the end of the year, you look back and you made 50 grand. Okay, and if you're really cool, you know, you're a hustler, you're ready to go, guess what? You're gonna close that fi first $15,000 deal and you're gonna follow, I, sh I showed you right here, you know, the scaling patterns. You're gonna start doing some bandit signs, you're gonna start doing some direct mail, you're gonna start doing some online ads, you're gonna start bringing them all into the mix. And guess what? By the end of the year, you might make 100 grand. All you know now is you need to talk to 25 people to make 15K. And that's what I love about the business. Obviously, we showed you the process and stuff like that, but it's a numbers game. You talk to more people, you make more money. That's what I love about it. And finding the people is a lot easier than a lot of other businesses that you have to you know, get leads. It's very simple, because people want to sell their property. Um, you can drive your neighborhood and look for sh you know, shitty properties, and uh, I hope I'm, I'm, I'm allowed to cuss, right? <laughs> like, um, so look for shitty properties in your neighborhood and you know, go into your county assessor page. I show you, you know, talk about how to do what's called driving for dollars in the course. You go to your county assessor's page, and you know, you figure out who owns it. Then you contact those people. You can call them. I show you guys how to, you know, call. You can go use like White Pages or Intellius to find their number. You can give them a call, and you know, make it happen. So Victor says, "I like this guy, no homo." Thank you, Victor. I appreciate it, bro. I'm just trying to help out, man. Like. Look, at the end of the day, I told you guys the story about the two kids who went to the house with me, and uh, one of them is now in college, he's broke, and I, hope, I wish him the best, but the other one made 700 grand this year. So you can either take what I share, his name's Alex Signs, by the way. I'll put, I'll, put, I'll put my Instagram and his Instagram. I just broke down, by the way, how to make 50K. So you literally have no excuse at this point. 
on being broke at this point because I, I don't know. So uh, mine is at Jalen White on all social medias. But in case you guys think I'm making this story up or whatever, because there's so many cynics out there, um, you can follow my boy at Alex Signs. Or actually, his Instagram is not Alex. It's FYB Signs. Follow him on Instagram. Hit him up. Ask him if it's true. Did you actually go to that first deal on 506 East Randy Street with Jalen in 2015 when you were all still in high school with another guy? And did you actually make close to 700 grand this year? And he made, he's in college broke because he didn't follow it. So, and I'm not saying I'm like some like real estate superhero. I'm just saying I follow the process. I understand the process. I've been doing it for three years. And uh, hey, so, yeah. Oh, cool. Mike Gonzalez. Mike, Mike Gonzalez. Okay, cool. Cool, cool. Um, okay, so yeah. So if you guys have any more questions, is this real Kenneth? Yeah, it's real. I just showed you uh, like six different examples of deals. I showed you two from like the past month. I could show you a lot more, uh, but I figured showing you six is probably enough to like get the point across because everyone was like, show me how to find the deals. Um, I showed you two from the past month. I showed you two from like a year, a year and a half ago, and then I showed you two from when I first got started. So yeah, yes, it's real. Um, Lucas says he's not making it up, but he's definitely oversimplifying it. Yes, it's not easy. We talked about this in the beginning of the, of the uh, live stream. Wholesaling is not easy. It's simple. The process is not complicated. Um, I wouldn't say I'm oversimplifying it. I'm saying, I would say I'm presenting the opportunity in a uh, you know organized fashion, but you got to realize it is not easy. You have to put in the work. You got to be willing to make the offers. You got to be willing to, if you want to make 50k, talk to 10 people a month, make 10 offers. It's not easy to talk to a seller, and when you got to make the offer, it's not always easy to say, hey, the max I can give you is fifty thousand dollars. Now there's strategies and techniques, and that's why I've been on here for already two hours, spitting you know trying to share some free information with you guys. And, uh, you know, I, I can't literally sit down. That's why we have the course, you know, so that those of you guys who are serious can, you know, have this, you know, in-depth walkthrough on everything. So, yes, I'm a little bit oversimplifying it, but the process is not more complicated than I've shared with you. It is actually a real business. And, yeah, to make 15 grand in two weeks, you've got to put in some work. Um, Rojas says he knows the way. He knows the way. Uh, my, my wife made up this joke. She said, move, bitch, get out the way. If any of you guys know that, you, it pro it's probably not that funny. But, hmm. but yeah, Keith said, Noth nothing is ever easy, especially fucking making some money. That's right, Keith, seriously. It's not easy to make money, but as long as you follow the right business model, you know, it's not that crazy. Houses in my market are way overpriced, though. Should I move to another one? to look into getting into this. You don't need to move somewhere else. You can do it virtually. I just showed you like three or four different states that I do deals in. I live in Arizona. Um, yeah, I do deals in Arizona, but I do deals in Memphis, Houston, uh, Indianapolis. So you, if you think your market is not good for what, and I talk about that in the course, how to pick a market, you can do it in different, uh, so yeah. But I'll tell you what, your market might seem overpriced, but if you use these marketing strategies, these are people that you would have never known about unless you actually did the marketing. And these people are actually open to negotiation. Doesn't mean everybody's gonna be open to a deal. Like I said, 25 leads will get you a deal. And that's not exact, maybe it takes you 30, maybe it takes you 10. Out of, out of my first marketing campaign, I got like five calls and two of them were deals. I made 20 grand total. I showed you guys the 506 East Randy Street. We made 12K. Um, well, I made 12K. And then uh, the other deal, the second deal, we Shaw Butte, we went over that as well. Uh, we made 16K total, I made 8K. So I made 20 grand from that first one. That was five leads, and that was Bandit Sign. So some marketing strategies is gonna take less amount of leads to get deals. Others, it's gonna take a little bit more. But either way, um, you know, whatever. Um, how much is the course? Uh, it was 697, I believe, correct? And by the way, let me pull up this so that you guys can see it. I hope this makes sense. If you, if you want to make 500K per month or per year, just talk to, you know, 100 people per month. 
just 10x this number, 100 people per month you gotta talk to. That's how we did 100, uh, over 100 grand last month, is because we got literally like 300 leads or something like that. So I think it was like 295, crazy. But uh, yeah, where's that, uh, where's that other one? Because I have some people, where do I get the course? All right. Okay, so, yep. So let me answer some more questions for those of you guys who, he doesn't know the way. I don't know. <laughs> By the way, if any of you guys don't know, uh, I have not, I haven't even posted it on my, my uh, like a picture on my Instagram. I've posted stories, but I did get a Lamborghini. That was one of my goals, and uh, here it is. I'm 21, some dude, I was at a, uh, like a real estate event, and some dude came up, I was parked in the car, I was being one of those guys that takes up two spots, and uh, he's like, yo, can you give me a ride? I'm like, bro, let's do it, let's do it. So, did I think I'd be driving a Lamborghini at 21? I was hoping I'd be driving a Lamborghini at 18, but I didn't know how the hell I was gonna do it. So I got into real estate, and uh, yeah. Lambo win, I got it like, let's see, like a week and a half ago maybe. So by the way, if any of you guys are wondering, we do, uh, it's gonna be either one payment of 697, or if you don't have as much money, you can do four payments of 197. So yeah, whatever, whatever works best for your situation. So what if no one wants to buy the property? We're Carol, we, we talked about that earlier, but I'll, I'll just uh, re-mention it. In your purchase agreement with the seller, and this is standard real estate, you know, lingo, this is how deals with realtors go to, you have what's called a, uh, inspection period so the inspection period you can choose how long that's going to be for me i like to make it the length of the contract so 30 days and uh as long as you're within that inspection period you can back out so selected stone bought a lambo with my bitcoin that's awesome bro congrats if that's true okay um the whiteboard is in the screen in the screen is the whiteboard in the screen it's okay I just okay Sounds good. Yeah, so I mean, yeah, did I expect the Lambo? No, but I just showed you how to make 50K. I just, I realized I wanna make 100K a month and I started working the math and I, I was doing that. Derek said, how rich are your parents? I don't know, bro, you tell me. My dad is a truck driver and my mom is a uh, nurse. So, um, and I have five younger siblings, so I do not have rich parents. In fact, they still wonder what the heck I do to make money. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, does this only apply to Mer America, Mike said. Yes, it only applies to America, but you can do it from other countries. You can do it virtually. And I talk about that uh, in the course. So where's my network of cash buyers? That's, uh, uh, that's actually, Brandon, that's the easy part. And I talk about that again in the course. Yes, backing out, backing out of a deal is as easy as I say because of an inspection period. And as long as you set the expectation, which I, I talk about that as well. We've talked about this that on the live stream. Um, set the expectation that, you know, we're doing our due diligence now, we got the due diligence period, and, uh, you know, we're gonna work on it. That's kind of the standard process of doing a real estate deal is having an inspection period for the buyer. So, David, you don't wanna have to back out of a deal, that's a bad thing. I back of, backed out of like three deals in like three years. So, um, yeah, make more vids, Corbin, tomorrow I got you, bro, daily. I got you, Corbin. Uh, is it illegal in Ohio? Dream Chaser said, is it illegal in Ohio without a license? So here's the thing though, you gotta focus, it's not illegal if you do it right. Now I told you earlier, if you do this wrong, like any business, it can be illegal. If you go sell a property you don't have a, you know, any interest in, then it's illegal. You can't just sell a random property, that's like obviously common sense. Um, but you need to, here's the important part. You have a contract with a seller. You need to sell that contract. You need to market that contract for sale, not the actual property. You're selling your contractual interest in the property um, and, and that's when it will be, you know, when it's legal and okay to, to do. Um, of course, it's not easy. If not, everyone will do it. Uh, the cool thing is, man, is most people are lazy. That's why there's this opportunity. So most people are not willing to get up and you know, they don't care to go talk to people, make offers to make 50 grand a year or 100 grand or whatever. Um, Derek, you said help a boy out. Derek, bro, start wholesaling properties. Let's do a deal together, seriously. Um, 
What about privacy laws when finding sellers? Now, obviously, there's do not call lists and stuff like that. Um, but remember, we're trying to buy properties. So you can get lists of sellers. And I talk about that in the course. That could be another hour of talking about but what state am I in? I'm in Arizona, physically. I, I, I lived in LA for six months. Um, so yeah. Um, how do you sell the contracts? Just through an assignment. We talked about that as well earlier in the live. So if there's more buyers than sellers, you just gotta get the property. If, the, if you're in a market where there's more buyers than, uh, than sellers, you just have to, you know, you can pay a little bit more, you can make more on the deal. You know, most people, 99% of buyers are not doing the marketing strategies that we teach you. That's our specialty. Our specialty is finding those good deals and those sellers who have property that they are having issues with. So yeah, um, does it work in Mexico? I don't know if it works actually flipping properties in Mexico, but you can definitely, I definitely know it works if you live in Mexico and you can, you know, wholesale in America. Uh, ATM, Mook said, I'm trying, but I don't have the money. Dude, I just, I just talked about it. I was negative in my bank account when I first did it. Um, when I first closed my first deal, made 12 grand. So if you're broke, then just start taking some action and follow a real business model and start making money. Um, where can I learn about real estate? Eric, go to, uh, you know, if you're on YouTube, go here, live call, tylopez.com slash real estate live, real, tylopez.com slash real estate live. Um, and then if you're on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, go here, I'm, they can see it, right? Pretty, pretty well. Um, yeah, this is what they're looking at, the intro. Cool. So if you can't see it, tylopez.com slash real estate live. <coughs> Excuse me, real estate live. How about Miami, Henry said. Miami is a great market. Bro, I'm, I was not joking when I said you can do this in any market. Um, you just have to do the right marketing strategies. So I'll remember you, Derek. I will remember you, bro. How long will the course be up? Ashley wants to know. Anybody know? Not long, I'm sure. All right. Okay. How many hours in the day are you working, Renee said. Now, as you grow, you're gonna be spending more hours, obviously, getting your operation bigger. <clears throat> but for me, personally, I normally work anywhere from two to four hours a day on the business because I have team members who fulfill each task. You know, we talked about marketing. Really, my role in the business is just the marketing part, getting those leads, and then the selling the contracts part. I have people who, you know, who uh, deal with the leads and who lock up the contracts. So, I have 10K and lived in my home for two years. Where do I start? Jonathan, you're ahead of everybody else. Start wholesaling. Uh, make 10K. And then you have 20K in the bank. And then make another 15K on a wholesale deal. So, Lenny, I invested $1,000 in 2010 in Bitcoin. Good stuff, man. Good stuff. Then you have some money to play around. I would wholesale, though, if you're, because uh, if you learn, here's the cool thing. If you have money and you learn how to wholesale, once you get the deal, if you want to flip it, just flip it. But if you don't, you know, you know how to make a quick 10, 20K. Oh, is this tie? Everyone's asking about you. What's up, everybody? That could be you oh, okay. sitting next to Jalen. That's a bonus. <laughs> He's going to take you driving around. All right, I'll be back. Are we going to do a live event or what sometime? Yeah, yeah, we'll do a seminar here. I'd be down for that. No, okay, uh, so social media marketing or wholesaling. We're talking wholesaling real estate. That is my business. That's what got me to get the Lambo. So, how do you find buyers for the contract? Okay, so actually, this is very important. So, you guys seen the, the bonuses? We had, uh, you get lifetime access to the mastermind community, you get the accelerator bundle, um, you get the overcoming objections with Jordan Belfort, um, and then all, everything else, it only lasts for the next hour, you said? Next hour. So. I would say you should probably buy before an hour if you're planning on getting it. Like I said earlier, if you don't want it, don't get it. Like, it's simple as that. I showed you guys it's real. I showed you my deals. I showed you guys my freaking Lambo. I don't rent it. Follow me on Instagram. You'll see. I'm freaking, second I get back to Arizona on Thursday, I'm going to be driving that thing. Um, so, yeah. 
Ashley said, is there any hidden fees? So no, there's not when you're wholesaling, there's closing costs, but when you're assigning a contract, this, the buyer is the one who, who uh, pays the closing costs. But yeah, um, Corbin said an hour, what? Yeah, so um, yeah. Yuhan said another bullshit, bro. I literally just sat here for two hours and gave you two hours of my life sharing the business that I do that got me out of you know being a broke 18 year old and uh, I showed you my Lambo, I showed you my life. If you don't like it, get off the stream, no problem. Like I said, that means less competition for me. I could care less, bro, um, to be honest with you. Um, can I do this while in college, Kendall said. Absolutely, there's no reason not, not to be able to. In fact, um, I have a dude who I'm actually trying to bring onto my team to do acquisitions you know, with sellers in Phoenix and uh, he's in college, so yeah. Um, I'm buying my first home. It's, it's a Barbie dream house. Yeah, try to wholesale a Barbie dream house. Renee said, how much money should I save? Look, I'm, I'm with Grant Cardone on this. Think about how much money you need to make because literally, if you're, if you're still sitting around right now and you, know, you got the course or whatever, and you're sitting around, go through the course, but take some freaking action. You never know, you could have 10, I, you know, I can't promise anything. I don't know how hard you work. I don't know what your work ethic is and your whatever. But if you actually implement, you'll have results. It's pretty simple. Um, um, what's the minimum start of cash? So Craig, I started out with, uh, with literally, I was negative 150 bucks in my bank account whenever my first deal closed. And I made 12 grand on that deal. So Anthony said, I live in Phoenix, are you hiring? Reach out to me on Instagram, Anthony. I'm definitely interested. If that, bro, but I'm, I'm not joking. I'm sick of people who don't work hard. Like, it's just, I'm sick of it. So um, hit me up if you're a hard worker. But uh, Ashley said she can't buy till tomorrow. I don't know if it's going to be up. All I know is what they're telling me, which is that these bonuses are coming down in three hours, right? You said? Oh, the next hour. Okay, one hour. So again, Jordan Belfer, I think, I can't remember how much I paid for his course, but it's pretty, it's more than what you'd pay for, uh, you know, what the wholesaling course is for sure, for just Jordan Belfort stuff. And you get Jordan Belfort teaching of overcoming objections in here. And then uh, obviously, you know, Chris Voss is a boss. Chris Voss, the boss, uh, the FBI negotiator. So um, this guy did it. Yeah. Is there any contracts with the program? Yes, I do provide my contracts. Now that's not to say they're gonna be a perfect fit for you, but they work in my business. So maybe you wanna consult with like a rocket lawyer attorney just to make sure it makes you comfortable, blah, 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 that's fine, but it works for me. Um, you know, I have all, everything that I've needed uh, to do it. So where do we go to get the course, Starkey said. You go to, um, let me flip back. So, if you're on, a, on the site, you go to tylopez.com slash real estate live. If you're on the YouTube live, you go to tylopez.com slash find deals. If you're on Facebook live, you go to tylopez.com slash find contra contracts. Instagram, tylopez.com slash find property. Twitter, tylopez.com slash quick flip. So t am I hiring in Texas? Not right now, Juan, but you know, you never know. So <laughs> I'm not going to say I'm not going to expand to there full time. So, um, by the way, there is a link on YouTube and Facebook. If you guys are still uh, confused on where to get it, on Facebook and YouTube, you can just click the link and you can go in there and get in the course. Again, and look, I appreciate it. Pontius said, you're awesome and inspirational. Man, I appreciate it because there are gonna be a lot of people who will try to drag you down, who will try to you know, degrade you or whatever. Even, I even see some people like, oh, this is fake, whatever. That's fine, dude. I showed you my deals. I showed you my life. Um, I don't hide, you know. Um, I'm drinking LaCroix, LaCroix water. It's like sparkling water. But, uh, so I appreciate that. I appreciate the positivity. Um, so yeah, let me see. What does the mastermind community include? So basically it's, you got Facebook with me. We're going to be in there. You'll be a, a couple of other real estate experts in there. Um, you can post deals. You can look for JV partners. You can ask about title companies in your areas. It's basically going to be a, uh, a Facebook forum where you can, or Facebook group, where you come in and ask anything you need. And then people like me and some other guys 
who do, uh, do deals will go in there and help you out. Ashley said how long, and Jason said, how long did it uh, take to make your first deal? So for me, it took me four months because I didn't get a course or anything like that. And it took me, I think I put uh, one deal or I almost put one deal on a contract, but then I realized it wasn't a good deal. Um, and so luckily I didn't sign it because I didn't know what clauses to put in the contract. I didn't have a contract for somebody. I was literally like screwed. So if you want to skip and save four months of your life and just get into doing it right and save a bunch of embarrassment and burning your name with different realtors in your area, I would recommend the course. But it took me four months to close that first deal from when I heard about the strategy and started learning um, and uh, got into it. So uh, how many houses do a month do you close on? Typically, um, we stay around four to six. Now, some of the deals are smaller. Some months we only close two deals, but they're bigger deals. Um, but our general goal is to stay around 30 to 50K a month. Now, last month we just did like 125 or 130, 135. I can't remember. After expenses, we made 105 grand. And, uh, you know, that's our standard now for under that we try to get there. I showed you the numbers. That means we got to flip roughly six to 10 properties a month consistently. So... Giving to charities beats Lambos all day. I agree, Benjamin. Um, I'm not like, look, here's the truth. I got inspired to take action by seeing people with nice cars and, and stuff like that. I'm not going to sit here and tell you, like, money needs to be your only focus. Maybe you want to retire your parents. Look, I, se I send a good amounts of money to my parents because, not because they need money or because I'm, I feel bad for them. It's because they raised me and I want to give back to my family. You know, and I go to church and I tithe and stuff like that. I'm not going to get into all that, you know, a bunch of religious stuff on you. But I'm not sitting here and saying the only reason to do this is to drive Lamborghinis. I am sitting here saying, go create something with your life. And if you're broke and you want money, go out and follow it. Um, Eric said, how old is this guy? I'm 21. Which, by the way, I have Justin Bieber looking floppy hair because I got a big forehead. And uh, so I keep my hair down. Remember, I was 18, closing deals with Justin Bieber hair, looking like I was like your son's friend's football partner or something like that, you know, football teammate. And I was out there doing deals. So literally, I don't care how old you are, what you look like. Um, agreed, Jonah. Agreed. Um, but I don't care what you look like. I don't care what your excuse is. I was 18 years old, looking like 15. And uh, most of the sellers I dealt with thought I worked for somebody, and I was fine with that. I was like... You know, I technically, you technically serving the buyer and the seller, so yeah. Um, most people assumed I worked for somebody, even though I didn't say, you know, hey, I work for somebody, but that's how young I looked. And I still look that young. I still look like a baby when I take off my hat. I probably still look like a baby right now, but yeah. Um, <clears throat> how do you get a contract? So we talked about that. You got to find the seller. You got to figure out what it's worth, blah, blah, blah. Talk about that in the course. Again, if you guys are interested, tylopez.com slash real estate live. Um, Haley said, doing amazing, great vibe. Thank you. Thank you. Annie said, just joined in. Who's the speaker? My name is Jalen White. Um, you can follow me on Instagram. Um, I wholesale real estate. I'm 21 years old. I did just buy a Lamborghini. That's like the talk of the town for this call, I guess. Uh, and I share that because, again, I got motivated by that when I was young, and uh, well, I still am young, but before I was in business, and I'm sure that motivates some of you guys. So, Kyle, how long ago did I film this course? Like a couple weeks ago. Um, but yeah, my name's Jalen White. You follow me on Instagram, you'll see. No, I don't rent my Lamborghini. Um, and the reason I put my buddy Alex signs his Instagram is because I told a story about my first deal. I was, and I'm sorry for those of you guys who are hearing this the second time, but I'll just summarize. Took two kids to my first deal to show them what I was doing, some friends from school. And one of them actually did something with it, Alex, at FYB Signs. If you want to like, look at it again, there's my Instagram, and I'm on YouTube too. There's Alex's. Um, you can DM him and ask him, is it true? And he'll say, yeah, he made like 700 grand this year, and the other kid is in, in college broke. Because, and I'm not saying that's bad. I'm just saying that, you know, he could have been down a different path. Not that, not that this path is better. I respect his grind. I respect whatever he's doing in college. But I'm just saying, if you want to make money, you want a business, go make it happen. 
It's, if it sounds too good to be true, it probably is. The greenery, my man, you are never going to make any money with that mentality. I literally just sat here. We are now two hours and 20 minutes into this live call. I showed you deals I've done. I showed you the exact process. I showed you literally physical addresses that I have wholesaled. Um, yeah, geez. Um, open up your mind, seriously. Um, so yeah. Student loans are killing people. Renee, I agree, dude. There are people who still have student loans to this day. So if you have student loans and you have a, a degree that you never use, get a degree in something that will make you some money. This is not a real, this is not a degree. This is online education. Um, but this is something that will make you money for years to come. What does flipping mean? <laughs> flipping means vertex to get something for a certain price and to sell it for more. We're talking wholesaling though. Um, well, this is where you can look at the course, but we're talking wholesaling where you don't have to put any money into it. Um, let's see. So uh, Austin Brady said, even the LaCroix is green, always thinking about that money. <laughs> yeah, I got two green water bottles. I'm trying to think about that money, baby. Um, this man is tricky, speaking truth and is an optimist. Renee, I really appreciate that, man. Look, I'm gonna say it again. My wife has a YouTube channel, so I'm used to hate and stuff like that. But if, you're, if you are sitting here saying, oh, this is too good to be true and all this kind of stuff, you need to reprogram your mind because you're never gonna make any money, you're gonna be broke, and you're just gonna hate the world. And that's a sad state to be in. That's why, you know, it's so easy as, as like making money, and it sounds stupid because maybe you don't understand it. Once you actually have a business that makes you money, you start to be like, why in the world would I share this? But it, it actually is fulfilling to help people. I'm sure that's why Ty got into this. Um, that's why I'm happy to help do a course and stuff like that, is because people are in the dark, man. They don't understand how to make money. I was there when I was 18, and I'm still there. I wanna be able to make millions of bucks. You know, I make hundreds of thousands, but I wanna make millions. So now I gotta buy courses and get education and have mentors to get to that next level. So, you know. Um, <laughs> Jay, sir, uh, sir Carpe Diem said, Jay, if you don't have haters, you ain't popping. <laughs> so you popping, man. Thank you, bro. I appreciate that. People are, are small minded. They're lazy. They don't, they are very, very pessimistic. So I want to say congratulations to Leland Joe, Cheyenne Keith. We got Arthur Bernier, Chris Starr, Jacob Wilson all joined the course. Again, I just want to remind you guys. They threw in all these bonuses that I even did not know. Look, I'll be honest with you. This course is worth, look, okay. Let me, let me break this down for those of you who are, cause I seen some comments like, oh, 700 bucks. Why do you, why is 700 bucks for a course? Look, well, you could charge 10 grand for this course and it'd be worth it because guess what? All you need to know how to do is go talk to 10 people uh, or 25 people, make 25 offers, and I'm not saying that's an exact number. That's, a, that's an industry standard that you can use. Talk to 25, sometimes it's 30, sometimes it's less, sometimes it's more. But talk to a certain amount of people, make offers, do the marketing tactics, and get a deal. You're not in e-commerce where you're making, and I'm not hating on e-commerce. This is just my business. I love it. I love real estate. But you're not e-commerce where you're making $10 a sale. You're in real estate. This is where you make 15 grand, 100 grand on a wholesale deal. Um, I sent Ty one of my checks. I made just shy of 100 grand on a deal. Um, you know, when you're making that sort of money, how can you expect, how are you gonna expect me to go out there and, and train my, you know, I just sat here for, you know, we're over two hours sharing free info, but how are you gonna expect me to give away every single secret for, you know, to people who aren't serious about the business? That's why there's a course, there's a barrier of entry. Now, some of you guys can't afford the course right now, you're gonna go out there and do a deal, you'll buy the course after, that's great, that's what I did, I had no money. Now, it's probably gonna take you four to six months to even get close to getting your first deal, and you can skip that by getting a course, but if you don't have the money, you know, blah, blah, blah. But what I'm trying to get at is, don't be afraid of, some, of a price tag on a course, especially when it teaches you how to make high ticket or high profit sort of uh, deals. So I'm not guaranteeing anything. You gotta come in and work. I show you the process that I use to make money. I show you the process that got me a Lambo. You know, it's your choice and how you do it. So, uh, have you heard of fortune builders, blah, blah, blah? 
Yeah, Mo said to buy into this other people's program, it's 25 grand to 50 grand to buy into this other real estate program. I cannot even believe that we're sharing this stuff for 700 bucks. It's still like, I don't know. Because the seminar, the free seminar I told you guys about, I went to, it didn't share with me much, shared with me a lot less, probably one one hundred one one hundredth of the actionable stuff I share with you guys today. Um, they were charging like 25 grand for coaching. And that's why I didn't get a course because I didn't know there are people sharing this for 700 bucks. So who's the girl on your IG? She's hot. That's my wife, bro. <laughs> She's married, homie. And I got a Lambo, so watch out. <laughs> um, so not a magic, Yvonne said, not a magic pill. Takes a lot of work and hours in marketing and rejection before finally closing a deal. Yeah, honestly, man, look, you cannot expect, because I texted Ty like, Two years ago, I was like, bro, I'm having a hard time hitting like 50 to 100 grand a month. He's like, how are you gonna expect to do that and have it be easy? It's supposed to be hard. It's not supposed to just be one button. That's, if it was one button, everybody would do it. You gotta put in effort, you gotta follow a proven method. We give you the proven method, you gotta put in some effort and make it happen. You know, it's not just, you know, it's not just there. So Jin Wu said, don't complain about 700 bucks being too expensive. Think about how much you're going to make with that $700 worth of info. Absolutely. Here's the funny thing. Some of you guys explaining or complaining about $700. Um, just wait until you're spending when you, have, when you want to make hundred grand a month. I've spent fifteen grand in marketing per month right now because I'm trying to scale up to 100K a month. You're worried about $700 right now one time on a course? And Ty is up there, he probably spends millions of dollars in his marketing budget, maybe tens of millions. He's, he's got problems that are 100 times bigger than me. You've got pro I've got problems that are probably 10 to 100 times bigger than you know whoever's worried about that. You just keep leveling up. You make your problems bigger, and you know along with that comes making money. You know, So yeah, you're worried about 700 bucks, but you're not thinking about the fact that you can have 100 grand a year business implementing that. So... Um, take your hat off, George said. You want to see, honestly? Yeah, how you like that? Huh? Can you imagine me showing up at your house, buying that house for 100K? No? Well, guess what? I, I know my numbers, and I show you guys how to know your numbers, and people respect me. People do deals with me. So, yeah, I look like that. I got hat head right now, but I'm not like some like good-looking, super suave dude. You know, you can be 70 years old, you could be wholesaling deals. So I hope you are happy, George. <laughs> uh, this is a really good video. Joshua said, thank you very much. Luis said, LMFAO, it's Justin. I know, bro. Look, I really love this hairstyle for one reason. I would love to make short hair because then I don't have to shower every day. <laughs> no, nah, just kidding. My wife would kill me. But I like, I like having, uh, I would love to have short hair, but I got a big forehead. So, yeah. I got $1,000. Is that, uh, I'm in the Detroit areas. Dude, if you got a thousand bucks, here's my advice if you have a thousand bucks, and you can do whatever you want, I'm not gonna say, but this course is 700. In the course, I show you how to buy bandit signs. In that course, I show you how to get low amounts of earnest money, and I give you a contract. So go there, spend two, spend a hundred dollars a month for three months on marketing, and get a deal. That makes you 10K or more. So yeah, again, hey, I'm, a, I'm just gonna repeat it. If you don't wanna buy the course, more power be to it. I'm not here to pitch you. I was, Ty asked me to come teach this. He asked me to do the course. I'm like, okay. I respect Ty. I, I love having him as a mentor. I'm happy to come help. Um, I just sat here for a very long time giving you guys a lot of free info. I'm about to lose my voice when I leave here. And I have to pee really bad. It's like a balloon, like blowing up right now. Um, I don't care if you buy the course or not. It's not my deal. You know, it's not my, uh, my decision. It's your decision. If you want to stay broke, stay broke. If you want to uh, do deals together, learn real estate, go there. You know, if you're on the live call, again, tylopez.com slash real estate live, YouTube slash find deals, Facebook live, tylopez.com slash find contracts, so on and so forth. So, oh yeah, this right here? Okay. Oh, you're gonna, I could pee in the bottle. Uh, is, that, is that legal on Facebook and YouTube live? <laughs> Thanks, man. Well, the sad thing is, is I'm like so, like, someone was making fun of me for drinking so much, which 
what am I popping like whiskey right now? I'm drinking water, but uh, yeah, I drink a lot of water. Um, it's just people in the comments repeating. Yeah, people are repeating questions. You don't have to maintain a real, Mitch said, what, what about the license fees you have to pay to maintain your realtor license? He said about 1,800, two grand a year. Here's the cool thing. You don't need a real estate license. We're not being an agent. I'm getting a property under contract and selling that contract. There's no aid being an agent involved. You don't have to. Damien said pee in the bottle, bro. I don't, I don't know about that. Uh, geez, bro. Uh, yeah, so someone said, what's your IG? I'll just repeat it. My boy Alex better take me for a nice dinner. Um, I told you guys that story earlier. Um, that's his, but my Instagram and YouTube is Jalen White. Uh, Jalen White. Uh, mini minimum amount of money for an assignment of contract, Isaiah asked. I like to make a minimum of uh, five grand on my assignments. Sometimes I make less. Sometimes I make more. So, dude, this is a, someone said, why can't you open the bottle? These are weird caps. Well, They're like, here, it's, like a, it's like a popping cap. Yeah. Oh, cool. I've never seen that on these ones. Huh, that's cool. Um, everyone, yeah, Joshua said, why is everybody concerned about him taking a piss? Bro, this should show you guys. I care about you guys. I've, I've been sitting here for two and a half hours sharing stuff with you. So, uh, okay. Um, so what should we do now? Should we leave this stuff up? We're kind of getting a little repetitive on the questions and stuff. Um, do you, wait, Daniel, I'll repeat this one more time in case anybody's new. Um, do you do any rehab? No. You don't do any rehab. You just wholesale the contract. My said, who is actually creating the contract in all capital letters? Um, you create the contract. I'm, I'm the one signing the contract with the seller, and then I'm selling that contract to a cash buyer. Um, how do you convince the owner to go down on the sell price? Dude, number one, you know, bringing this back up, they're doing the bonuses. There's probably like 45 minutes left on that, but there's a lot of different strategies. You know, I like could talk about that for another two hours, but in the course, not only are you gonna have, and that's like one of my specialties is, is uh, negotiation. And I'll t I talk about that plenty in the course, but you're gonna have the personality preview so you can understand personalities and negotiate better. You're gonna have Jordan Belfort, the king of closing, teaching how to overcome objections, which you just asked about. And then you'll have the negoti no negotiation tactics from uh, the former FBI hostage negotiator, Chris Voss. So you're gonna have some pretty legitimate negotiation stuff. Mr. Jibble said, make me rich, inbox me. I can't make you rich. I can show you what I did. I'm hopefully becoming rich. I wouldn't say I'm mega rich, but I'm, I'm working. I'm trying to get there. And I'm not even, guys, look, I'm gonna make one thing very clear. I'm not even saying I'm the best real estate investor in the world. I'm saying I know how to go out there and make 15 grand on a deal. I know how to do that multiple times a month, and I know how to teach you how to do that. So, um, Swayze said, hey, I'm 21. How would I get the opportunity to work with you? I would recommend Swayze, if you got the money, join the course. You really have no excuse. It's like 697 one time or 197 four times four payments. So, you'll be in the Facebook group with me. I'll show you one time. You got that bonuses for like another 45 minutes. You got the Facebook community. I'll be in there answering questions. I'm sure a couple of other real estate guys will be in there who can help you with deals and uh, get that done. So biggest mistakes beginners make when starting. Isaiah, man, I'm gonna be real honest with you. It's not following the right advice. Some people, look, there's people out there who are teaching, like you see these signs on the side of the road, real estate investor seeks apprentice. Those are people who are teaching methods that worked 10 years ago like marketing methods, like for example, doing uh, newspaper ads. Some people are out there buying courses on how to make newspaper ads. We're in 2018 and people are teaching other people how to make newspaper ads to find sellers. Like find people who, yeah, uh, someone said, is that the guy from Wolf of Wall Street on the bonuses? Yes, act Jordan Belfort, the dude from the Wolf of Wall Street is actually in the course. He's teaching how to overcome objections. So, yeah, I really have to pee. So, uh, where do you guys? Where should we go from here? <coughs> yeah.
I'm turning the mic off for now. That's cool. Definitely feel free to um, mute that microphone. Folks, right now here in the studio, we may need emergency surgery. Any questions for Zach? That's a reference to a, a funny YouTube video. If you can, uh, if you can quote or tell me what YouTube video it is I just referenced and quoted, I will. Um, I'll do a five-minute phone call with you. How about that? Someone said, "Good to see you." Another clown. Another clown, indeed. All right. So, uh, exactly. y'all say people are leaving comments. We yeah, can. They're asking, uh, "What kind of real estate are you involved in?" The secret kind. Very secret deals. I, I like doing a lot of secret real estate deals that I don't tell people about. Ty's approached me a few times to be in the in the course or to teach in the course, and I. I said, man, listen, we go way back. You're my brother, I love you. Uh, I wanna do whatever I can to, to be involved with this exciting j venture. But uh, one thing I will not do is teach a course on real estate. Said you, you've gone too far. They bought some Z coin. Oh, I, I don't know anything about the Z coin. That's your coin. Oh, that's right, yes, it is, it is my cryptocurrency. Um, yeah, so I can't answer any questions on real estate but uh, I'd be more than happy to answer questions if maybe we could do something, I don't know, a little easier, quantum physics or um, any kind of time travel. Show them behind the scenes. Someone says Wes. <laughs> what? Let's see. I don't know. I'm looking here for the... Uh, um, Zach smoking weed. No, I'm not, but I appreciate the compliment. Um, I want your wisdom. Oh, thanks, Kenneth. Well, I'll, if you uh, win that five-minute phone call, I'll impart as much as I can. What's your favorite quote? That's tough. Most likely it's going to be from Winston Churchill, as Winston Churchill is my favorite historical figure. Why was the camera just off of me? Uh, Someone said, Zach, you should have a, sh a show. Take off your hat. What is the obsession with people wanting everyone to take? Oh, see ya. What? Zach, remember. The star of the show is out of here, huh? Oh, no, no. I, I mean, they ladies and gentlemen, wow. welcome back. Yeah, Get your questions just, ready. This guy will make you laugh, too. Oh, good. Okay. Are we on? Is it back on? Yep, it should be. It's green. Yeah, yeah you're on. Okay. All good? Okay. So, yes, I went pee. I'm all good. I took care of it. So... Tell us a redneck joke. Anthony Reyes said, tell us a redneck joke. Do you have any good redneck jokes? I'd have to Google me. <laughs> Nobody knows us what Zach does in the background. Google's, Google's jokes and then. Is that from the Mario Game Age? That's not yours, is it? I don't, I don't know. Okay. I don't have herpes. I can not guarantee that, so. No, it's just more of a, you know, dude thing. <laughs> I have, I can't, my flight can't be open, whoever pointed that out, because I have button uh, zipper, so they're all closed. Um, <clears throat> bring, Isaac said, bring Zach back. They're starting a movement over here. Okay, so back to the real estate stuff. I think, okay, the Lamborghini gets people focused. Boom, there we go. Troy said, Zach, I'd love to smoke a joint with you. <laughs> oh, boy, that's awesome. Say a house in, is in a bad neighborhood, but it's cheap, and you could get a good deal on flipping it. It's real estate. And, is real estate in bad neighborhoods an absolute no-go, or that's Ty asked that. So, Ty, I showed you right now uh, two deals that I just recently did this month and a few others that I've done, and th those are – really crappy areas I'm not gonna hate if someone else you know lives in those areas that's fine but I'm saying from a real estate investor standpoint those are not the best areas to be buying in and I wholesale deals in the hood all the time I don't shy away from those that's where I got my first deal and uh, that's where I like to work it so let me make sure I just want to make sure I'm all good here okay so yeah 
How long has this been up? About three hours almost. Um, uh, any thoughts on buying and selling cars? No, I like buying and selling houses. You can buy and sell cars. It's gonna be probably just as hard to find deals, but you're gonna make like $1,000 on a deal and you have to put in all your money. So I don't like cars, I like houses because I can do it without any money and I can go out there and uh, make 10, 20 grand on one deal. Hmm. Get deals in Compton, Hugo said. Compton's a great area to wholesale. Um, what's your, Joshua Pacheco said, what's your opinion on renting versus flipping? So for me, I've gotta be very honest and upfront, I do not have any rentals right now. Um, the reason being is because we're in a market cycle that's very hot right now. So a market can go, only go up for so long before it goes down. And when it goes down, boy, wholesalers make a lot of money when the market goes down because sellers loosen up on pricing, stuff like that. Um, so do I, I can't even remember what the question was, um, renting versus flipping. So I don't rent in this market. I, again, I only got in three years ago. I started out, built my cash and uh, you know, uh, maybe in a couple years I'll start renting once the market kind of simmers down and takes a little dip. And, uh, but for now I'm stacking cash. So yeah. Um, how do you stay focused on one industry? There are so many options to make money, but how do you do it? Johnny, look, here's what I like. I found, I found some people who have what I want. I found some other investors drive, drove, driving nice cars and stuff like that. And, uh, you know, I, looked into it, realized you could wholesale real estate. And you know what, at the end of the day, I have dabbled in other things over the past three years. I tried starting an e-commerce store, didn't work. Took some, maybe that was one reason it took me so long to get to 100K a month. Um, but you know, dabbling is gonna kill you. So what you gotta realize is that every business is gonna be hard and every business is gonna have its pluses and minuses. I told you guys earlier that I texted Ty and was like, dude, I'm having a hard time getting to like 50 to 100 grand a month. He's like, dude, it's not supposed to be easy. It's not supposed to be like some walk in the park. You can't expect to literally just turn a switch and start making 100K a month. So you gotta realize that every business is gonna have a little bit of struggle and that you just gotta push past that struggle. Pick one that you're excited about. I love real estate. Why do I love real estate? Because it's gonna be around forever. The same, most of the houses I, I wholesale were built in 1950. You could, people were wholesaling, I'm sure people wholesaled some of the properties I've wholesaled, people wholesale them in 1980, that same property. It's always gonna be around, people are always gonna have property, and it's just, it's a skill that'll carry me. So. What's with the bottle cap? Dude, I know, this is the weirdest bottle cap I've ever used. Maybe it's like a California thing, but instead of screwing, you have to like tip it up like that. It's, it's weird. Um, okay, let's see. What's my number one tip? Right, White Rhino said, what's my number one tip to make money? Um, my number one tip to make money is just follow a damn proven course and just take action. Dude, I told you already. Like me, why, why didn't I make over a million dollars this year? It was because I did not spend the amount of marketing, 15 to 20 grand a month, every month. It's because I got lazy. I might've spent 15K, had a nice 45K month. I might've spent 3K, had a nice 20K month, and then you know taken the next month off. The reason you don't make your income goals is because you don't take action. You know, and that's why now we're being consistent. I had 100K a month. You know, I, yeah, I went, I've consistently grown my income every single year to multiple hundreds of thousands of dollars, but the reason I'm not make, making millions is because I haven't stuck to that until now. So now that we're sticking to that, we're gonna hit a million dollars, I'm sure, you know. Um, <laughs> Dave Day said, if your home is on wheels and your car is on blocks, you might be a redneck. <laughs> Um, okay, so uh, follow a proven course and take action, that's right, man. Yeah, seriously, you look, at the end of the day, there's so many like Ponzi schemes and stuff. I know Bit BitConnect just got shut down. Like, and number one, I, dude, in my opinion, I never put money into BitConnect. I knew it was a Ponzi scheme, but I didn't even think about it because um, there's too much opportunity in real estate. If you have the money to invest in BitConnect, if you have, 
couple hundred bucks, a thousand bucks, go put that into doing some marketing for wholesale real estate, get a ten, twenty thousand dollar deal. That's more of an ROI than you would have ever gotten uh, doing doing the uh, the uh, BitConnect. So money at a young age said, how old do you have to be to start flipping real estate? Well, you can be any age. I started at 18. But I would have tried to start at 16 if I would have known about it. Okay. How big of an, ef an effect do you think your dad was to you and your brother's success? So I don't have a brother who has a business, so I'm not really sure what you're talking about on that end. But I, my dad raised me to be a very hard worker. He's a very, very hard worker. Not a business dude, but a very hard worker. And, uh, you know, that carried along. I actually just took Ty's personality test, and I scored really high in the diligence factor. And I think that was because of the way I was raised. You know, my parents made us clean a lot. You know, we had, I have five younger siblings, and that really uh, carried over. So Alejandro said, is this course for beginners? Yes. So it's, it's for beginners or it's for advanced people. Because if you closed a couple of deals, look, at the end of the day, I spent, I've spent probably... Now, again, I don't spend millions of dollars like Ty, but I spent probably like, I don't know, probably closer to 30 grand on education stuff this year. And I'll tell you what, if I was somebody who is a beginner, obviously, this is for you. You're going to know step by step. We've already talked about the process, how to do each and everything. But if you already do deals, you're going to see a couple things. So wholesaling, maybe you do deals more than more deals than me. You've got Jordan Belfort teaching you how to overcome objections. You've got uh, productivity and time management. You've got the former FBI hostage negotiator, Chris Boss, teaching you how to negotiate in a business that negotiation is one of the most important factors to making money. You've got to know how to negotiate. And you get a replay of the mentor conference. With, there are people who probably spent $1,000 just to go to the mentor conference. You know, between the ticket, between their travel, between the hotel, you can watch it for free. It's included. Um, you get the Accelerator Persuasion Bundle. Look, even if you're doing more deals than me and you're like, okay, this kid, yeah, he's got a Lamborghini, but you know, I made $5 million last year, I make more money, <laughs> you got all this stuff. So yeah, it's for beginners, advanced, I don't care how many deals you do. All right, um, why have I stopped making YouTube videos? It's been two months. Um, I took a break to really focus on scaling, and that's how we did 100K last month, over 100K. So yeah, I'll start posting and giving some free info as well. We're gonna reset Instagram right now. Okay. Instagram will be right back. Okay, we'll, uh, we'll wait for Instagram to go back live. Again, if some of you guys are asking questions, um, I can't see all of them. There's a lot of comments rolling through, so I po apologize if you. Yeah, wholesaling is flipping contracts, Nathan. When did you get married? I got married at, n at 19. Mo said, where can I get the course? You can get the course uh, at, let me make sure I don't knock anything off here. At, if you're on the live call on the site, Ty Lopez, tylopez.com slash live. If you're on YouTube, tylopez.com slash deals. Facebook, tylopez.com slash contracts. Instagram live, tylopez.com slash property. Twitter live, tylopez.com slash quickflip. So, any one of those, you can go buy the course. Clausy said, where can I buy the course in all capitals? Alex said, if I, find the, if I take the program, could we be partners? Bring me some deals, Alex, and we will work together on deals. Uh, I told you guys, I need more JV partners. Now, if you're in like a market that I don't 100% know, I'll refer you to someone I, I know. But Nova said his name is Jalen White, and Instagram is at Jalen White. So I appreciate that, Nova. Yeah, it's at just J-A-E-L-I-N White. So we're going to go live on Instagram again right now. <coughs> Casey Adams. No, I'm, my name is Jalen White. Um, is this a step-by-step -step course? Absolutely. You, there's going to be nothing left to guess. You get the marketing. You get um, you know, negotiation tactics, how to figure out what it's worth. I show you my presentations with sellers on how to break down your offer point, your offer price using different percentages and stuff like that to make it make sense. Uh, we show you the contract step by step, how to fill out a contract along with the buyers. Yeah, there's going to be nothing um, in there that you're going to have to guess on.
Um, uh, what's the hardest thing you had to overcome in wholesaling? Honestly, it's just getting started. That was like the main thing, believing that it could be done. Like, I'm sure there's a couple of people in here who are like, no, it makes sense. I showed you the deals, you know, you guys seen my car, uh, you know it works, but you don't know if you can actually do it. That was my biggest hurdle when I was first starting. So, um, Manly said I came late, what's going on? Manly, we're just talking wholesale and real estate. Um, I showed you guys a couple of deals. Uh, it's basically wholesaling is where you get a property under contract for a certain price and you sell that contract to a cash buyer for a profit. So let's say 10 grand. Okay, stop. We're going to swap out your battery now. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, but in the course, you'll have step by step, uh, you know, how to pull lists, how to do act and et cetera. Um, one second. You're good. It just has to repair when you plug back in. Okay. Oh, I'm all good? Yeah, you're good. Oh, shoot. Okay. Can you guys hear me? All right. Can you hear me? Text Keith said the course isn't showing up. Um, okay, we're good. Okay, the course isn't showing up. Make sure, you know, if, you, if you're having trouble on any one of the links, just try tylopez.com slash real estate live. He said it's, it's not showing up. Is it still working, guys? Uh, the course is, is up, right? Some dude said he's having trouble with the link. We'll, we'll check right <laughs> Alejandro said, why not a Ferrari? Bro, the Lambo is... I, see, I saw Ty Lopez ad with his Gallardo um, in that first video in like 2014 or something like that. And I was broke at the time. I, I didn't make my first deal until May of 2015 or close my first deal. And at that point, I was like, I need a Lamborghini Gallardo. And so there was no Ferrari. There was no Audi R8 in question. I knew I needed to get a Gallardo. So what's a JV partner, Anthony asks. A JV partner is a joint venture partner. Basically means that you get a deal and I'm gonna help you either find a buyer or I'll put up the money and do that deal with you. Um, Chris Starr said he doesn't see the course either. How much money would you say you needed to get started? Um, I, I just almost fell. <laughs> you need literally, uh, well, if you're gonna buy the course, 700 bucks or 197 times four payments. Um, and then after that, I got started with zero dollars. I borrowed my $10 earnest money deposit from my, my girlfriend and my now wife's dad. So is that my Lambo right now? Yes, it is. Um, here, let me show you guys my Instagram real quick. Okay, cool. Just want to make sure. So everyone says, show me your Instagram. Here's my Instagram. I live in Arizona, so go follow me. You'll see me driving the Lamborghini uh, when I get back home on Wednesday night or Thursday morning. Haven't decided when I'm gonna go back, but you'll see me driving the Lambo. Then you'll see me driving the Lambo on Saturday. Then probably next week on Wednesday. Then maybe next week on Thursday. So no, I didn't rent it. I own a Lamborghini. It's a Gallardo, and uh, it was paid for by real estate. So yeah. Uh, so Daniel, you said show me my IG. There you go, man. By the way, guys, this uh, Instagram phone right here that shows comments needs to be plugged in. It's got 10%. Okay, uh, let's see. Who are you going for the Super Bowl? I don't, dude, I'm a Steelers fan. I was going for the Steelers. That game with the Jaguars, my dad was probably, they live in another state. My dad was probably throwing his shoe at the TV. He was probably so pissed. Um, so I really don't care at this point. I'd say the Patriots probably are going to win just because Tom Brady is the GOAT, but I would have much rather seen the Steelers go against the Patriots, or Steelers go against the Patriots in the uh, uh, AFC, I think it is. But honestly, I do business. I don't really worry about sports that much anymore. So, um, yeah. Let's see. Thoughts on cryptocurrency? Bro, uh, well, actually, Will, you said, can I get the program tomorrow? 
Will, uh, I don't know if you can. They might close it. I have no clue. But I can tell you that you won't get the bonuses and stuff. So, again, if you guys need the links, tylopez.com slash real estate live and all these. But you will not get the bonuses, which we're probably inching out until on where, you know, we probably have like, I don't know, 30 minutes, 20 minutes left where you can actually get the bonuses with Jordan Belfer and all that kind of stuff that I talked about. Um, so if you want the bonuses, you better buy soon. If you got the money and you have more than enough money, you're still thinking about it, honestly, don't buy it because you're one of those people who's too afraid to take action. And uh, if I had, well, let me tell you this. I closed that first deal, I made 12 grand. The next day, I bought like three different courses. <laughs> I spent like probably $2,500 of that first check on courses. So yeah, if you got the money and you're backing out, dude, 197 times four, four payments or 697 one time. I'm not gonna sit here and give you every single secret I have like to everybody in the world and train hundreds of thousands of people, my biggest secrets, that wouldn't make sense and you wouldn't want that info too. So those of you who are serious about it, you want stuff that you know a group's gonna see, you're gonna be in the Facebook group with us, have all that extra stuff, you know, get in there. So yeah, Jeff, we're in the reselling business. Uh, Anthony, I'm in Phoenix. Why, Rhino, do you ever donate to hospitals? I haven't yet. I go to church and I, I love, you know, tithing and stuff like that and I give to my parents. So, <clears throat> um, Carl the Tactician said, most of this knowledge on wholesaling real estate is already free on YouTube. Bro, that's, duh, you're on a free live call right now. You're like, Nobody is going to sit there and give you every single secret of, look, if, you're, if you think you're going to watch free content that somebody made and know every part of their business and how they make money, you're a fool. Because someone who makes money and actually like feeds their family with th those strategies, they're not going to be sharing everything, everything for free. So you're a fool if you think that you can just go out there and get every single secret for free. Now, if you don't have the money, that's a different story. Go figure out how to get the money. Go, 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 look, if you don't have a couple hundred bucks in your bank account right now, it's because you're lazy. Uh, and I'll say that, like, to be frank, because um, some people like to say, you know, if you have family, whatever, you, everyone's got different situations. But for most people is if you don't have a couple hundred bucks, you can, you'll know why. Look at your bank statements and look at how much did I spend on food this month? How much did I spend on clothing and shoes? How much did I spend on entertainment that I didn't, stuff that I didn't need? And I can almost guarantee you that at least 10% of your income was spent on stuff you didn't need. So if you make $2,000 a month, there you have $200 a month. That's your course right there. Or that, you know, marketing money or whatever. Save that up. Um, so yeah, no, <laughs> the gentry mom said, amen, nothing is free. Absolutely. That doesn't mean I'm not going to share everything with you guys here. I'll pull my Instagram up one more time because I've seen a couple more comments. Instagram and YouTube is at Jalen White. Uh, reason I have this, my buddies up, is because, you know, him and another dude went to my first deal with me and he actually followed the strategies. He's making like 700 grand a year now and the other dude is broke in college because he didn't do any of it. So that's why I had his. So at J-A-E-L-I-N White. So you're a puppet. Calm down, dude. I don't know, bro. We have like probably thousands of people comment so far saying thank you so much. So if you want to be a puppet and follow the average, you know, cycle of going, you know, go get your job, go do whatever you need to do. That's fine. Like I said, get off the live stream. I could care less. Um, I'm just sharing what I use to make money young because, you know, yeah. All right. So, all right, guys, what should we do next? Should we just leave up the links and stuff like that? Yeah, all right, so yeah, we're good. I think, I hope you guys have enjoyed this and uh, hope I've shared some valuable information for you. And I hope I see you guys in that Facebook group if you join the course. So again, flip this, oh yeah, absolutely. So all these bonuses, remember, uh, you probably got like 20 minutes, 15 minutes. So hopefully I see you guys in.